Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome in. I'm getting ready to uh, play in a homies game. Uh, I think there's four players and one DM. Um, myself and Ox are both playing um, characters in the game. Uh, I got my, my DM just trying to set up my uh, my changeable token here. See it. That one there. Well, I'll have to show you. But uh, I'll let you know what I got coming up. Uh, we got Adventures Wild Mount tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. There is probably less than six sessions left. We have um, Monday, we have our five-player uh, game night. I think we're playing Deadlock. So, uh, you know, definitely tune in for those. And uh, well, let's, uh, let's, let's started shall we there you go that and then the other one is the and i'm looking yeah i'm excited for this very excited i'll just unmute discord now shit open yeah open it wide Oh, yeah. I have so much strength, you can feel it in my fire. You throw that fire real hard. Yep. You're just lying anybody's ever said. Yeah, well, you know. Yep. Oh, um, I, th I think I did it, but I'm not sure how to link it to your character sheet. Okay, so all you gotta do is you, uh, you click on the, the token you've got out there. Mm -hmm. And then you go to my character sheet and you hit edit. Actually, you know what? I yeah, I think you're going to do it. If you click on the token, uh, mm -hmm. go to my character sheet, hit edit. Yeah. And then if you scroll down to where there's an empty spot for the token, just hit use selected token. There it goes. All right. Done. Hells yeah. Oh. I I, I was just... trying to delete extras, so I might have deleted the one you oh, grabbed. Yeah, yeah, I think you did. <laughs> I was like, I'm I'm like I switch it over and it's like all of a sudden it disappears. I was like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah, those other two there, you you can get rid of those. Oh, I can get rid of that one. Oh, uh one more thing you might want to do. Uh, mm -hmm. if you uh, double click on the token. Actually, I'll actually, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, just actually, maybe I can do it. No, I can't do it. Okay, so you double click on the token, and then where it says like the green bar, mm -hmm. um, hit that drop down list and go down until it. And then the blue bar. Down. Uh, uh, okay, list, assigning basically. different things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the other thing is, after you save it, uh, you'll have to put that token as my my token. Okay. What did you want for the blue AC? Yes, please. Leave the red blank. I I like to use that for like height and stuff. Okay. All right. Bring please that. Thank up. you. Yep. No. Not even a little bit. Oh. All right, Fuck. should be good now. You no, it's bud. Love it. He's Thank lying you. to you. Beans. Looks like we're all here. Fucking blow your beans. What the fuck? It's a video. Lauren Zia, how you guys doing? 
Yeah, you know. <laughs> Not so <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> We're doing yeah, not much. Not much you can do with with that. Yeah. No, it's just fucking sad. Yeah, yeah. basically. Yeah. <laughs> um, I I guess that's where I come in. <laughs> All right. So last we left off, you guys were in a hallway, and you just fought a bunch of. Uh, People? Question mark. Uh, Bettany, there you are in the hallway, and in the room you just came from, there's a unicorn standing around, looking around, being confused. Uh, guys. Oh, uh, what the fuck? And she's just gonna point into the room at the unicorn. First time? <laughs> uh, yes, yes it is. Uh, I, I do believe he talks, too. Not for uh, long. Lady, where did you go? The, that door is too small for me to get through. I think I'm stuck in this room. I'll, I'll peek my head back around. Oh, don't you worry. I'm just talking to some friends. I'll, I'll, I, I'll be right with you. Uh, uh, all right, I'll just wait here. He sparkles dramatically. Oh. Guys, what, what exactly should we do about him? We used to kill its kind with fire. No, no. Yeah, I, I don't yeah, want to be careful that either. Okay, we should torch it. Roasted unicorns, delicious. You okay, no longer have a digestive system. Maybe we should just leave them for now. <laughs> <laughs> I do have Tate. No, I don't. Never mind. Listen, you what's your name? Who are you addressing, well, Gersh? Gersh is addressing the unicorn. The unicorn. Oh, okay. Uh, my name's, um... Oh, that's weird. I don't know. All I can remember is I was making a sandwich in my kitchen, and uh, and now I don't have hands. But how did you get here? I... Uh, listen, if I knew, I would tell you, but... Um... I don't? Do you remember a... anything? Well, I I remember my um it was going to be a good sandwich. It had I just got this nice liverwurst. Ew. Man. With unseasoned sauerkraut. It was going to be great. Oh, God, he he white as in... he white as snow. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Germany in the 1930s. I said he like, was <laughs> He's from Michigan. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> oh, darling. Listen, it's important that you remain calm and remain indoors. Um, well, well someone... the second part's going to be really easy because I don't think I can get out of this room. That door's kind of small. Uh, first part, um, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Listen, were you a customer? A uh, customer of what? Did you receive any weird packages in the mail lately? Any medications? Um. Well, my blood pressure medication was a little weird, but they just shipped it in the wrong label. What did the label say? How is it a wrong label? Uh, well, it's, you know, it was the same bottle that it normally was, but, uh, But it didn't have my name on it. But I mean, I didn't, I didn't take any. It's, it looked oh. weird. So I just called my doc, called my doctor, left a message. I, I didn't need, 
I wasn't in urgent need of uh, a refill. I still had a few pills left, so. Oh, so you didn't take any of the strange medication. Strange medication? Okay, now I'm starting to freak out a little. Oh, oh, okay, dear, okay. You just relax a little bit, all right? And I'm going to kind of, like, step outside a little bit and try and pull okay. the others to the side. And um, I think this is probably right, but I'll, I'll ask you, you. Would it make sense that I, I would put together that every time we killed one of those things, something mm -hmm. weird happened, right? Yes. I, I'm, I'm going to mention that to the... Uh, you know, it seemed every time that we dropped one of them things, something strange happened. You know, the, the the grease all over the place, the unicorn popping up out of nowhere. You know, maybe it's got something to do with that. It, he literally has absolutely nothing to do about nothing. The grease also happened when uh, Gersh got shot by finger guns. Maybe have some kind of wild magic? Um, above table, something like that. But he seems like he was a person before. Mm-hmm. I do agree. That that very seems likely. So then so then how did he get here? That's not the same as the grease, unless the grease is people too. Well, you think the grease is people? <laughs> The greases people. <laughs> no, no, I, I don't think that. I think that something random happened, and it just so happened that a random thing here, I killed one of those things, or rather, Henrik killed one of them things, and a random thing was it yanked somebody from Michigan and turned them into a goddamn unicorn. That's a lot. <laughs> and Daly kind of looks like she needs to sit down. <laughs> well, there's a few chairs in this hallway. Like little, little, like those little plastic chairs you see like lined up in hallways in offices sometimes. Don't sit on the wrong one, though. There might be people, too. Yeah, they might be. <laughs> but uh, so I'm not sitting anywhere now. <laughs> But right, right around Somebody now, the foundation you... <laughs> that will, will get them sorted out. I'd... But you guys hear from the the unicorn. Uh, got uh, guys, something's happening. I'll you guys peep go my back, head in. back in. Yeah, for sure. All right, yeah, you you peep your head in, and the unicorn is starting to look transparent, like he's fading away. Damn. Ah. Oh. Uh, What's um uh, you guys are the resident experts on uh whatever this is. What's happening? Well, what does it feel like? Go into the light. <laughs> We've lost our chance for barbecued unicorn. Um, we are not feels... barbecuing him. I I feel lighter. You still feel like a unicorn? Um I think and his voice wow, starts to so get higher be a pitched. Unicorn in Michigan now. <laughs> and he starts to, and he starts to like get more and more transparent. And he just remember me, and he fades away, <laughs> and there's a big puff of glitter. And there's glitter all over this room now. No, I'm it's not everywhere in there. I'm gonna go get a couple handfuls of glitter. Uh, okay. Did we just miss our chance to contain a unicorn, guys? Are we going to get sanctioned for this? I mean, you could, like, report it and say, ah, oh, there might be a unicorn somewhere in Michigan. <laughs> I mean, I guess we're going to have to at this point. We can't just, oh, my God, a unicorn in Michigan, that would be a disaster. Hey, hey now, wait, wait, wait a second. This is my first mission. I don't feel like getting in trouble on my first mission. Maybe, you know... We heard something later on down the grapevine about a unicorn of Michigan. All right, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Nothing we could do about this in this at this time. We were ill-equipped to handle something like that. Uh, 
And no, it's, it's uh, got some samples. Well, you can get samples of the glitter. Oh, I got a couple handfuls and put them in my pocket. Okay, your pocket's full of glitter. Yeah. Oof. Rough. You, do you do you like that that yeah, coat? Dealing with that six <laughs> missions from now. I got I got uses for it. Don't worry about it. I got this. Okay. Okay. Oh. Um, yeah. So right around now, you guys hear pretty much all all of you here on your uh, intercom. Uh, Lambda twenty seven. This is uh this is Graham. What's uh what's your current status? Uh, well, your heart rate spiked a few uh, about a minute ago. And who is this? Uh, this is your communication officer, Graham. He's talking through your headsets. Oh, yep. okay. I, I well, I, he said a name or something, didn't he? I missed the name that he was. He, was uh, he, he called you guys Lambda Twenty Seven. That's the oh, okay. name of your team. Gotcha. Uh, we we're all fine here. Just uh, ran into some. Very angry load of laundry. Daily uh, okay, just kind of so... looks at Gersh to like put a PC spin on everything. Okay, <laughs> floating. What animated laundry? What? Uh, be more specific. We've entered the building. We were accosted by what looked like empty sets of uniforms, but they were not empty. All right. Uh, anomalous. Occurrences occurred upon their expiration. Uh, any consistency Say with the effects? Again. Mm, seems totally random so far. All right. Uh, well, Gershon took peeks around to see if the grease has disappeared. Um, you actually peek around in time to like see it actively evaporating. Mm, seems like seem it la last. Yeah, lasted about a minute. They seem to fade away after about a minute. Hmm. All right. I'll uh, start that up in the report. Uh, one of them uh, was possibly a person translocated from Michigan and uh, appear who appeared here as a unicorn. Hmm. Like a... Like a standard Fairy unicorn? Fairytale creature. Okay, okay. All right, unicorn. You hear like a little bit of writing, <laughs> some typing. Like, all right. Um, do you have reason to believe he's back in Michigan? I can. Don't know. Inform. Started to fade, faded away, and then poofed into a cloud of glitter. All right, I tell and still felt like a unicorn though. So maybe. Okay. Well, I'll uh, I'll notify the, uh, the closest site to uh, up there. There's a few, there's, I think, three sites on the Great Lakes. That's eh, not important. The message will go over there. But that's the most concerning, as it's not exactly a localized effect. No, it is not. That's quite a wide range. Um, well, as soon as you have something else to report, feel free. Well, I would send a message out, I guess... To the teams in Michigan as well, and in the area, like, to look for other anomalies of people or things disappearing, if this person could be transformed and then transported here from Michigan, other things must be coming through. Possibly, but it's it's hard to tell without any uh, confirmation one way or the other. Uh, like I said, I've already sent the message, so they've got it. Anything else to report for now? Nope. Well, I'm the 27 on mission. All right. And the channel closes. Yeah, you guys are just in this room. There's still glitter everywhere. There's the... There's some lockers. I don't think... I don't remember Bettany finding much in here. No, um, I found there were, jack shit. Yeah, I think there were some pill bottles. 
some sealed pill bottles? Yes, there were three, empty and ones. they were empty. Yeah. All right. Uh, I don't know if you picked those up or if you left them on the table. I but... did pick them up, yes. Okay, then you have them in your pockets with the glitter. Uh, can I have them in pockets? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many pockets you got. <laughs> Uh, Where, you know, wherever wherever you want them. This is a pretend game, so I have four. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I imagine Hendrick is also kind of a pocket. Indeed. So yeah, you've got some three pill bottles. Uh, you know what? I'll actually uh, I'll I'll pull those out, and right. uh, I'll uh, let the others check them out. Uh, found these in there. What you make of that? The, there were three of those creatures, yeah? And I found three empty pill bottles, and they all say something about fixing your story. Oh, that's the drum we came for. What are the names on them? So when you go to look, um, everybody except Gersh, um, there's no, uh, other than the name of the drug, there's nothing else on the label, but Gersh, you notice something. It's a little faint. It's um, you see S, like you see a, a first initial S, and then last name Thomas. It's very faint, like you can, and it's almost like flickering. And in the pill bottles, you can almost see the faint outline of some pills in each bottle. Mm. But, like, as you're looking, like, really trying to focus on it, all those details seem to fade away. S. Thomas. One name on all three. Hmm. Other than that, no new information. Uh, wait, I'm sorry. Are is, are you sharing the fact that there it looks like there's outlines of pills in there? Yeah, Gersh. Yeah, mentions the. That he he mentions the name on them, and the fact that it's on all three. Yeah, but he yeah, said there's you, an outline you know. of pills, right? Like, yeah. Like well, the... yeah, but that no, faded away with it's... the name. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. That's understood. Like he saw them for a few seconds, gotcha. and it faded away at the same time the name did. And we, we, uh, I'm sorry, I to, uh, somebody had actually asked for bills to fix their stuff, right? Um, yeah, Gersh well, did. Yeah. He was told that they were not for him. I'm trying yeah. to figure out how we're going to get samples. That, that was part of our, our task, right? Was to find samples. Well, I'm. The, these are samples of that, though, right? It's just not for Gersh. Kind of. I mean, then... it's definitely something to bring back. I, I don't know if someone, if yeah, we're going to be is... able to get it or, you know, recover it or not. Yeah, because you guys have, like, um, the Foundation does have several examples of these pill bottles they're all sealed they don't have any pills in them um but these do right uh gersh saw some pills momentarily but they all feel right, empty gonna march over and and ask for the pill bottles from gersh gersh also didn't mention the pills but yeah, that that's what I was asking about because I thought he said there was an outline of pills that you saw, and that's why that's what I was asking about, like over table talk. 
Yeah, if you're if Gersh was no. sharing all the information or not. No, yeah. Gersh just mentioned that there was a name on it and that was on all three, but nobody said anything about it. So <laughs> that was it. That's so he just stopped. Okay. Like you guys didn't see a name. He did see a name. He mentioned mm. the name. Nobody were nobody responded to that in any way. Yeah, it's so not that's... ringing any bells for Dimitri. Yeah, name yeah, it's not... means nothing to me. Yeah, I can tell you it's not ringing any bells for anybody. It's just some name. Mm. Right, but fast, but <clears throat> we did see a name. A little... Whatever. The what? Huh? Say that again. Oh, nothing. Can I see the pill bottles, please? Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll hand her the ones I got. Okay. But take it, he's got one because uh, he, he's acting it, but uh, probably still got two. Well, I'll hand those over. Yeah, you have two empty pill bottles. And do they say pills to fix your story? I was confused yes. on that. Yeah, they do say that. That's the only thing they do say. Okay, so there isn't a name on them. No, currently the like the uh the patient slot on the on the little slip um on the sticker is blank. Okay. Any instructions? Nope, that seems to be blank as well. The only okay. information is the like the name of the medication. Okay. If I open it, um and like swab it with like a collection thing. Like, is there any residue? Uh, what use like a little like a Q-tip or something? Um, I don't know. A couple. I mean, like probably like a, a swab or like a Kim wipe. Probably both. Well, just looking at it, you don't seem to get anything. I mean, since we have them, I might. And this is our mission anyway. Like, I get. I'm gonna. Do that. I'm gonna swab each of them and like collect samples. Okay. You don't notice any residue on the swab. You don't feel any difference in weight. What Seems like they're things? entirely empty. Uniforms. They got name tags. No, they don't. They have anything on them? Any they're they're fairly. Them? I mean, they're not completely identical uniforms. Like, you know, one person, one of them has like long sleeve shirt. The other one has short sleeve shirt. A few different, like slightly different pants. Like, you know, they just had to get like khakis and they all got them from different places. That kind of thing. All right. So no, no identifying things on them, like uh, the name tag wallet, anything. Nope. Nothing like that, that you can find. I'm at a loss. Perhaps the pills are only meant for the people who asked for them. Well, that's a weird thing. All right. <clears throat> well, that's weird, don't you think? If somebody asked for them and they took them, why are the pill bottles here? I mean, the pill bottles are here, but the pills aren't. The labels of what faded, right? Um, I described them as fading because, uh, Gersh saw some information on them that then faded away, like, mm. as he was looking at it. They, Fair. the, the labels are in, like, good condition. They were reason, like, recently printed. There's no fading ink or anything like that. Wait, these ones right now that we just got? Correct. Okay. So... Gersh, what did you see on the labels when you first picked them up? Just the name. S. Thomas. S. Thomas? There. And it looked like, it almost looked like there were pills inside. Oh, yeah? What did they look like? I don't know. What did they look like? Um, They looked like pretty generic gel tabs, more or less. Okay, yep. Or gel caps. Gersh describes what he saw. Okay, so Daly's going to write S. Thomas and gel caps question mark on each of her swab samples from each of the jars 
and tuck those away safely. Okay. <clears throat> I'm likely to get residue from a gel cap. You never know. Even if we find out what's what was used in the gel cap, it can be helpful as to helpful information as to what the gel capsule was containing. And if we yeah. were to open them and pour it out, there's you feel nothing in your hand, huh? Correct. Eh. Also, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> at, least for, <laughs> at least for all three of them. No, I, I, I was just, I wanted to test one. But I, I, when I say pour it out, I don't mean like just you know, drop it on the ground. I mean, you know, try and like tap it into my hand, see if I felt anything. If there's not, I mean, just in case it's weird, uh, I, I do like, you know, cut my hand over it and like put my hand over the, the lid as if I'm dropping a pill back in just in case. Okay, uh, give me a dex check. Uh, See how well you do that. It's not very hard. But you don't know if there's anything in your hand. Oh, okay. oh, oh, oh no. Uh, you fumble slightly. Like, somehow. <laughs> bro, I can, I'm fat and lazy and slow, and I can still do that in my damn sleep. <laughs> it's something, something about the idea of like, you almost feel silly doing it, because there's nothing in your hand, but you're acting like you're, like, putting pills back in. You're pretty sure you do it right, but you have no idea. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna put the lid back on. Okay. That does not require a check. <laughs> Wait, Thank fuck! Did you feel something? Uh... Nah, no, nah, I didn't feel nothing. Just, just in case, you know, that there was something in there. I just wanted to, you know, just kind of cup the hand, but it felt strange. So it just, if there was something, I'm, I probably lost it. But hey, we still got the other two, right? We do. Okay. Gerson yeah. puts one bottle yeah. into his pack. And you guys know that back at the site, you've got, like, dozens of bottles. Mm-hmm. But we also don't know if those are maybe full, like, these are maybe full. Right, maybe, question mark. Yeah. Well, uh, we keep exploring? We're supposed to find Dado, too, right? Plus, we don't have confirmation that we have a sample. True, true. Maybe they're in maybe they're in a different state before you get they get bottled up and labeled. They don't disappear? I don't know. Maybe. But uh yeah, if you guys wanna exit this small room, you can. Yep. <laughs> Thirty minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> This one event is going to take us a year. We should go on and clear clear through the place. Um, keep in mind those anomalous effects that uh, on their death. Uh, maybe try to keep your distance as much as possible. Okay. So Very you well. guys exit the room and go down the hallway? Yep. There's really only okay. one way to go. Like, you know, if you come out of this room and you go to the right, it's back the way you came. But if you go to the, to the left, there's another little turn, and there's another uh, section of hallway. So presumably you're going that way. Indeed. Indeed. So you go down that section of hallway, and up on the left, you can see, like, there's a, f there's, there's a few features here. Up on the left, there's um, like an, an archway, you know, like a doorway with no door in it. You can't quite see what's in there from here. Um, there's an actual door on your right that says the uh, storage on the front of the door. 
And then at the far end of the hallway, there's a set of stairs that go up. All right. Uh, well, what's what's through the archway? Uh, in the archway, it looks like there's a little break room. There's fridge. There's microwave. Microwave really shitty looking. It's all rusty and dented. Like not like somebody beat the shit out of this microwave. It's like right, it's just been it's been for... yeah, it's been there yeah. for a while, or it's been moved a bunch of times and dropped a few times. Did Didn't Bethany think... mention that she found the pills in the fridge downstairs? I did not. In the other room? I think yeah, I just said room. I found one. Mm -hmm. Okay. But uh, I mean, if we're all heading the same direction, uh, see the uh, fridge. Yeah, there's a. It's like a. It's you know a full size fridge. Yeah, and uh, I mean, if everybody else is gonna start searching. All right. I mean, I was just kind of looking, looking at, yeah. But uh, okay, yeah, you, but, uh, but on yeah. the way, uh, on the way towards the fridge, uh, I did find these pill bottles in one of these big old fridges. Wonder if there's any more in here. You're about to find out. You guys open the fridge, <laughs> and uh, there's a few items in here. All food. Like, looks what looks to be like a wrapped up sandwich, some old Chinese food. Then in the bottom, like the the bottom of the fridge, there's like a few uh, takeout containers that are closed. You can't quite tell what's in them at a glance. And in the freezer, there's a box of frozen corn dogs. I love corn dogs. <laughs> Yeah, do you guys do anything with any of those items? I'm going to take the corn dogs. <laughs> All right. You can add yeah. you can add 6 corn dogs frozen to your inventory. Yeah, I'm going to bust it open and pull one out and I'm just going to briefly torch it for a second. All right. Uh y y you have a burnt corn dog. Beautiful. It's on a stick. Yep. Um I'm going to eat it. Yeah, it's uh, it's not great. I don't know. I don't have taste It's a buds. little, it's a little freezer burnt, so the texture's off. But yeah, it's still I mean, perfectly I don't really edible. Have a tongue either, so you know, texture's fine. Yeah, it's more the memory of eating a corn dog. Yeah, you you remember being at the state fair, about eight years old. Yep, Coney Island corn dogs. Yep, <laughs> let's go. All right, Kirsch uh, moves on and checks the storage closet. Uh, it is not a storage closet. It You open the door, and there are stairs going downstairs. Ah, but the door said storage, huh? Yes. Okay, so it seems it's like to be a, a storage. Yeah, a storage basement. <laughs> it is not a storage room. It is a death room. You die. Yeah. <clears throat> well, we did suspect that uh, there might be an underground element place should we go down i'm game if you are is there a light switch uh yeah there is i uh, hit the lights all right you flick it light comes on in the basement um stairs look pretty long like they're it's a really deep set of stairs like that, uh, this basement is set really low. Like lower than the standard, like, you know, eight ish feet down. Dimitri, point. Yep. Moving up. Right. Yep. You squeeze through the door and you lumber your way down the stairs. Yeah, as quietly yes. as possible, which isn't very easy because my feet are metal. So Correct. Uh, give me a <laughs> stealth check, then, <laughs> if you're trying to be quiet. I feel bam. Hey, 11. That's not too bad. 11. Yeah. All right. Uh, you feel like you're being stealthy. 
Gersh, you hear the stairs audibly creak under uh, Dimitri's weight. But yeah, you go down the stairs, and you know, like I said to Gersh, uh, this is a very deep dug basement. Like it's probably twenty feet tall. Like there's maybe it's set like this to store very tall objects of some kind. But as you go down the stairs, you, know, you get it's kind of hard to view the whole room until you get all the way down. Uh, my monitor's just turned off. Uh, okay, I'm back. Oh. <laughs> I think my cat hit a button. Um, so you get all the way down to the stairs, all the way down to the bottom. Um, it's a pretty standard cinder block construction basement like this isn't this isn't an old building but looking around there's a few storage um you know larger storage lockers there's a few fridges um and like everything stainless steel this is fairly obviously a la uh like a hastily set up lab of some kind What would you guys like to do? Uh, yeah, investigate. Investigate the yeah. lab. All right, investigate. Is anyone going for anything in particular, or just a general investigation? I heard a roll. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I'm gonna let them investigate. I'm just gonna kind of keep an eye. Okay. Nobody fucking. Gersh is gonna. Gersh is gonna what? Uh, well, I was. I thought she. Oh, I was just gonna say, just make sure nobody gets the jump on us. That's all. I'll, uh... Gersh uh, I'll, I'll, takes I'll... out a small. Sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> Gersh Sorry, takes go ahead. out a a small um, uh, a small little a small stick, cracks it under his nose sniffs that's my guidance booster salts yeah <laughs> all right go ahead and give me an investigation check if that's what you're going to do uh okay that do shit oh fuck are you okay no No, none of my none of my clicks are clicking. None of your clicks are clicking. Yeah, my rolls aren't working. Maybe try refreshing your page. Yeah. Okay, I could I could roll from you. All together. Oh, all right. Well, okay. I guess it's working now. At least that's there you cool. go. Okay, so a nine plus uh, your booster salts. Hey, that's better. So a thirteen. So you find nothing is like locked. None of the fridges or the storage lockers are actually locked up. Um, the the tools. Here are pretty bare bones. Um, just like really basic chemistry tools. I don't know what those are because I'm not a, a chemistry person. <laughs> but whatever they are, they're really basic. Some few different flasks and beakers and burners and whatever, what have you. Um, but just really basic examples of those types of tools. Um, in the lockers, there's It's weird. Some of them are, like, one or two of the lockers are empty, but they're all labeled raw material. And, and like, two, one or two of the lockers are empty, and another one of the lockers, all labeled the same, um, it's 
just a bunch of books and they're all like books on the concept of writing narratives. Mm. And then in the uh, in the fridges, there's a few more examples of the drug you guys are looking into. Same as all the others. Empty pill bottles, no name written. Uh, but there are also several other pills, like several other different pill bottles. And they're labeled things like banana pill, boner pill, super lax. Seems like some other dado creations are in here. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. did you say, um, what was that last one you said? Uh, super lax. So. That can mean two things, either super <laughs> relaxed or super explosive diarrhea. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to give me a, um, a database check, you can, if you want. Uh, is that the Hume? No, it's not, it's not Hume, it's just a database check. Um, it's related to how familiar your character is with the SCP database. Um, it would be a custom skill. I I added those in. I, must... I know I rolled one last time. Oh, there it is. Jesus Christ, these rolls, bro. <laughs> All right, so, Bettany, you are unaware. You don't really get much. Uh, Gersh, you pretty much instantly recognize all of these, especially considering the intersection of your, uh, we'll say, interest in drugs and your longtime foundation service. These are various uh, known anomalies, all with their own designation number. Uh, okay. Uh, banana pill is a pill that, when taken, will, when, or, uh, when you take it in your stomach, will manifest enough bananas to induce an acute dose of ionizing radiation. Which is uh, several thousand tons of bananas. <laughs> oh, so you just explode. Yes, you explode gotcha. in bananas. <laughs> And Just so, and everyone, uh, die. and everyone around you dies, being crushed to death by bananas. Um, it's not a good time. Depends who you're talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the um, the banana, the boner pill is a pill that uh, increases your age by roughly 120 years at least. And also makes you anomalously aroused. Beyond human limits. <coughs> Your genitals are just gonna fucking explode. Oh yeah. It does nothing to help with uh, age-related um, impotence, though. Damn. Which is sure to set in, because you're now 160 years old. Yeah. Good shit. Yep. Uh, Superlax is weird. Um, when you take it, you uh, <laughs> it it instantaneously clears up any constipation by um, forcibly ejecting a constant stream <sighs> of fecal matter out of your rectum. That doesn't stop. Ever. Ever. What the Ever. fuck? Where does it come from? Um, other people? Dato's not. Oh. Ex no one's exactly sure. Dato kind of is. He he. It's uh, likened to the Uber, but for poop. <laughs> and if more people take it, then um, 
Everyone can share the ride. <laughs> well, now, if only I had that during my debutante days, I tell you what. Hmm. Yes, that would make for quite the entry. Um, in one of the fridges, there's also a few, uh, like, carbonated drink cans. You know, like, cans of Red Bull. And they are labeled Dato Juice Energy Drink. Is that known? Uh, yeah, that one's also known. Um, there's three different, there's several cans in here, but there's three different variants. One of them has a little picture of fire. One of them has a little picture of radioacti radioactivity. And one has like a comet. The fire energy drink, basically just, you just light on fire. <laughs> and you'll, you'll burn for up to five days. Uh, the radioactive symbol is pretty predictable. You become extremely radioactive, which kills you. And then the comet, you uh, you float up into space. <laughs> Some needful things type shit going on here, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, you float up into space, you know, reaching a velocity of like 11 kilometers per second within like 30, se 30 seconds. And you continue to accelerate at that speed. Until uh, you go away into space. That's what that energy that drink acceleration does. Acceleration stops, right? Like no, it never does. So what? You rip a hole in the space-time continuum at some point? Maybe. From <laughs> <laughs> that uh, that uh, manhole cover got blown off. Yep. Yeah, the foundation has not been able to observe those affected for long enough to uh, figure out if they hit the speed of light or not. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, Gersh is gonna take everything. Uh, all needs to be contained. Yeah, just, just shove it into a bag. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the rest of you guys see Gers just grabbing all these pills and shoving them into into their bag. Equipment look like it's been used. I'm recently. Um, some of it does. Like, and it at best maybe lightly used. Okay, so most of the stuff has like a lot of dust on it, and that kind. Of um, a lot of it does. Some of the some of the tools are a lot cleaner, like they were just recently cleaned. One or two of them a little rusty, like they were used and then improperly cleaned. That kind of thing. Some of the flasks still have some like distilled water in them, but that's kind of it. So do like we this. do we think that this be where he'd be making all them pills then? Maybe somebody go uh, order something and see if Dato arrives down here. <clears throat> we move beyond that. Right? What could we even order at this point? We've tried a few things. Yeah, but I Dimitri mean... Dimitri didn't call. <laughs> I mean, see if he comes down to make it real quick. No, place an order. Got to make it, don't he? No way, he's got a pill for every single thing. I mean, that was the idea before, but nobody saw or heard anyone coming in or out of the building. So, do it, so, so that would mean that he he has to be here, if he's making it here. But then nobody saw how it was delivered either. And not only that, it was happened very quickly after it was ordered. Like, there was a span of maybe 10 seconds. We lack much intel. 
Maybe Dado has another job. Maybe he the Flash. Maybe we... I didn't understand a word of that. Sorry. Said Dado with a day job. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. <clears throat> but yeah, whatever you guys want to do. Did you find another way out of here? Was Dado looking for another, or Daily looking for another way out of here? Yeah, who said? What? Say did again? somebody tell me to? If they did, find another uh, way out of here? Gersh might have just told you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm asking. No, but I mean, I assume Daily was also around. Just poking around. Um... Daily can give me an investigation check. Uh, Gersh will give her some uh, booster salts. Okay, she so, she, so she can roll a d4 as well. Lauren, are you, do you want to roll on D and D Beyond she, or in here? Yeah, I think she rolled. Four to twelve. Twelve. Yep. Okay. Yep. There it is. Okay, twelve. Um. Yeah, you find pretty much the same what uh Gersh already found, but you don't find like an alternate way out or anything like that. There's definitely only one way in or out of here. Yeah, this well, is out of the building, sense. right? Not out of like the corridor where we are, right? Is yeah, yeah. There's no way out of that corridor? That's what you were asking? No, I'm asking what is the there's that there's only one way out. Is it one way out of the building or one way out of like the area we're in. Um, there's no alternate ways out of this, like, basement. And from when you were upstairs, you didn't see any other ways out besides the front door or those stairs that go up upstairs. So nothing okay. else you could seem to find. Have we cleared the whole basement or no? Um, there's not a whole lot to clear. It's fairly open. There's just... Uh, has just some lockers, some fridges, and these large stainless steel tables where, you know, some chemistry was going on at some point. But not a whole lot else down here. All right. Um, well, <clears throat> that flash I got from the uh, anomalous drug did did point upstairs. Just wanted to be sure. Shall we? Up to the second floor? That right there is who I'm playing to need. We shall. Yep. <clears throat> All right. You guys make your way back up the stairs. They creak again. Um, yeah. The travel up the stairs seems shorter this time somehow. Seems a little odd. <clears throat> Um, we have spatial anomalies in this place, I'm telling you. But, Forms. yeah, and then you get up to the top of the stairs, you turn right, um, and you start going up the other stairs. That's her. Okay. Got a map this time. Yay! And, uh, Say so you come out like here, like this central stairwell. Um, is there anything on the 
Is there an image or no? I'm just seeing, yeah, because I'm just seeing a gray, 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 gray grid. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the oh, because I have an image here. Did I make it invisible or something? Uh, did you maybe put it on the GM layer instead of the map layer? Possibly. Okay, yeah. There oh, we go. Jesus. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, All right, got it. Yeah, so you're coming up these stairs. Okay. Okay. I'm assuming this is the doorway right here. Yeah. All right. You know, looking around. Yeah, there's some bathrooms right here. Uh, excuse me for one quick moment. I just need to powder the nose. Don't fall in. Uh, Gersh says. You know, I believe I've got some uh, some Bolivian. If you need a better quality. He starts digging around. Bag. Stop trying to make people do drugs, Gersh. What? She said she wanted to powder her nose. Uh, she. You can hear a call from the other room. Yeah, not not quite what a man. You can hear the tinkles. Excellent. I had my partying days. I don't really do that thing no more. But then you can hear go, No, Hendrick, we are not doing drugs today. I told you, I don't do that. I know you like it. I got the vision. I could tell we ain't doing no drugs. Comes out, though, after she... Okay. Yeah, so you guys start to make your way out and, uh... This seems like a very large office space. Seems fairly clean. Not a whole lot, not a whole lot of activity going on. You do hear some faint typing sounds, though. Mm. Uh, yeah, coming from where? Joe. With my passive perception of 20. Yeah. Okay, so you're kind of like the area you're in is kind of like this is like a hallway, like these are frosted windows, more or less. You can kind of see out. You don't see any activity directly in front of you, but it does kind of sound like there's some activity kind of around the corner. You, you just don't see anything out here, any movement out here. Okay. So you'd have to exit. And is there anything special you want to do before you exit this hallway? If that's <clears throat> what you're doing? Um, I don't so, that's special. Okay. It's around. So, this is a fairly average looking office space. There's no decorations anywhere. Pretty drab. Um, but there's a variety of, like, little cubicles and workstations and stuff. But there's nobody right here. Sounds like there might be something coming from over here, though. Dimitri, what are you and Bettany doing? And where's Daly? I'm just peeking around this corner, looking in this area here. I'm, okay. I'm following uh, Gersh. Okay. You know, I don't like mm -hmm. surprises, so I no. don't want to. Uh, yeah. 
Okay, so looking around this corner, right over here, seems like yeah. a little receptionist desk, more or less. Mm. Uh, you do see a figure, question mark? Seems like what would be the pretty standard office attire of like a, 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 a female office attire. There's a, a pair of glasses that are hovering on nothing. This figure also seems to just be... She's. They don't seem to actively be typing, but they are looking over some computer screens that you can't tell what's on them. All right, well, I'm not going to push too far because everybody else seems to be dipping the other way, so okay. I'm just going to turn back and catch up. Okay. Cats, stop fighting on the desk. Um, Gersh, when you round this corner, you see over here a a similar figure. Some looks like some male clothing, a standard office shirt or, or button up shirt, probably some basic slacks, and they are they seem to be typing at a computer, but the computer screen is blank. Uh, would you like it like it's off? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> um. Well. <clears throat> Gersh is going to approach, and he's going to call out to the person. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, sir? He doesn't seem to respond. Do you get closer? Um, Gersh is going to... Did my thing cut out? I didn't hear oh, you say anything. Yeah. yeah. I just... No, no, it's just everything went quiet for a sec and nobody was oh, okay. talking. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Sorry, continue. No, I'm sorry. Uh... <clears throat> Where is it? Oh, I changed that name. Gul Gersh is going to pull out a, a weird looking little gadget. Um... It's like uh, a disc with um, with a mirrored kind of screen on top. It, it's actually it's more, it looks more like uh, like sort of like a pool of liquid metal, mm. and he pushes uh, he pushes two fingers into it. That's going to be. His anomaly disruptor, aka dispel magic. Okay. Cast spell magic. Okay. Go ahead and give me one of those uh, spell checks. So, so I make like what attack? No. No, it's a. Uh, you make an ability check, check with your yeah wisdom check. Okay. Hey, 24th. That's pretty good. Pretty good. So, that's pretty good. So you use this device and it puts out this like like just barely visible like red tinted field towards uh towards whatever you're pointing it at towards this target um, and it seems to take hold the person stops typing their arms go to the side and they seem to fade back into existence um, they're a pretty generic looking guy um, 
white, brown hair, has skin's kind of fucked up. Um, like sores, hives, that kind of thing all over him. His clothes look clean, but the rest of him does not. And uh, he's just kind of slumped in his chair now. Okay. Uh, yeah, Gertrude Ger- approaches him. Um, does he look like he's... Health is fucked up? Oh, like... damn. Yeah, uh, he's dead. Oh. Oh. Um... <laughs> Gersh needed to to bring all of his medical expertise to bear to determine. Damn. I'm pretty sure this book has writing. Um, So, yeah, he's very obviously dead. Um, But you also see a lot of other uh, telltale signs. This guy is a long-time drug addict. Um, And you can pretty easily tell that he died of some kind of overdose. But you, you like you see both symptoms of like overdose and withdrawal at the same time, and you're pretty sure he died seconds ago. Okay. Damn, Gershwin, what did you do? <clears throat> Um, because of the nat twenty, you also see one of those little pill bo- pill pill bottles in his uh, shirt pocket. Ah, okay. And it's opened. I. <clears throat> the only thing I did to him was break the effect. Um. Then he Gersh pulls the pill bottle out from his pocket. I mean, not to ask you for help. Damn. <clears> hmm. <throat> so, you would. Okay. You prefer an, uh, a term in, an eternity in uh, an, an undead state. Got it. What? Well, wait, wait, now. Uh, now, damn it. What does the pill bottle say? Nothing. Besides the pill to change your story. No new information on it. Daily? Okay, so this is also a pill to change your story? What did you say, Laura? What? (laughs) So did you see him take it, or he was already? He was already. No, this is one invisible. of the invisible people that Gersh like broke the effect on. But when he came back to, it was like, you no, know, maybe, uh, you know, Kensington resident. But all of a sudden, he was fucking in this office, invisible, typing, and died when the effect. Where it wore off. When the effect of your spell wore off. No, Gersh broke the the. You, basically, I used dispel magic to break the whatever spell. Was yeah, so on. you killed him. Yeah, Gersh. Yes, broke. he died yeah. when it when <laughs> when whatever spell was already on him broke it. Pill to change your story. Gersh yeah, so why did you, why'd you do that? Why did he? Why did he fucking cure the no? Why the fucking invisible that? dude? No, why did you? Oh my god! Are you... Just to try stuff. He was invis. He was another one of the invisible people. He was not responding. He was not aware that we were here. So you murder him? He was typing at. Oh my god! I cast a spell magic on him. <laughs> Murdered him. <laughs> <laughs> Cold blooded, you fucking murderer! He was typing on this on the computer, but the screen was what? But the screen was off. The computer's you did off. This, this is your fault. Maybe we could have, we could have used them. Maybe we could have found something else. Maybe, maybe you're we could the have seen one. 
Maybe 12. we could have seen the pills if if they were on him. Maybe we could have seen him take one. Well, you did learn that uh, I'm, you can. I'm dispel wondering what you think magic? of what we learned about about this the pill from this interaction. We'll find another one. You can do your experiment. Well, there's a receptionist back the way we came. If anybody is wants she to invisible? Uh, well, she wasn't invisible, was she? She was. Oh yeah, no, she was too. Yeah. Okay, great. Daly can do her experiments. What do you think we learned from this one? This isn't an experiment. This is this is Garsh killing people. <laughs> are you like? Are you actually confused about what happened, or <laughs> or like? Are you just making fun of me? Which is fine, but. <laughs> oh, I'm not confused. Okay. Yeah, she's just saying you're you're a murderer. <laughs> this is your fault. You did this. I did. Daily kill somebody downstairs. Fuck. Didn't they? Nope. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think they actually put a killing blow on somebody, but they attacked. Like, <laughs> I think I killed right. two out of the three. Yeah. Um. Listen. Look at this person. This is not your typical office drone. They look like they were asleep on outside two nights ago. But the clothes are clean. Yeah, as you guys are talking, uh, decay seems to be uh, accelerating on this individual. Like, now they look like they've been dead for two weeks. Think about what you know about Dato's about Dato's drugs. Hmm, interesting. This seems like it might be a pill changer story. Might be something for somebody near death because it seems like this person was going to die, or someone who's just down and out in general. Some sort of. I don't know, twisted life fix. Dear Lord, don't let the Republicans learn that there's a pill for bootstrapping. (laughs) But, uh, yeah. So, that's what you learn from this, uh, dead guy. Is there anything else you'd like? Yes. Continue. You said there was another? Mm, back the way we came. Opposite direction of the stairwell. Follow the hallway around. There's a reception desk. <clears throat> I'll lead the way. Yeah. We'll, uh... Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not hard to go back the way you came. No. Just walk yeah, around. Back. There's, there's a, a little closet right here that you guys walk past. And, uh, yeah, you walk up to the reception desk. Yeah, Gersh just leans against uh, this wall here. Uh, He pulls out his flask. He takes a twig. Okay. Pulls a little little of his cocaine out. Does a little little rail. Rubs it on his gums. Uh, Yeah, so you guys walk up here, and there is a... How did... You know, a, an invisible lady at the desk reviewing um, whatever is on the computer screen. Right. She does not seem to notice you. Yes, I acknowledge that they may not actually like just be invisible people, but for now, it, you know, kind of seems like a deep shorthand, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't have to keep describing um, yeah. a <laughs> female office mm. dress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, so have at it, Daily. Here. Gives her more booster salt. <laughs> <laughs> Does Daily want to do anything in particular to this? Um, 
Well, first of all, where's my little token on the map? I can't find it. Can't get it oh, out. you got to drag it out from the sheet. So where your character sheet is, if you just click on the name and then drag and drop it onto the map, it'll just pop up. I don't know if we gave you a... Yeah, it doesn't look like you have any character art, but you just got the generic one. You can be the MSN messenger profile picture from 2004. <laughs> Yes, that's right. I'm that old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Lauren, are, are you are you on? Are you looking at roll twenty on your phone? Yeah, I am. So. Okay, so it's going to be harder for you to do that. I'll just drag it yeah, out for don't you. Don't worry about it. Anyway. So this generic hooded figure is daily. <laughs> Mysterious. Yep. You look much different than when I thought you got no face or nothing. Let's see. Um, but yeah, what would uh Daly like to do to uh this receptionist? I'm not saying I would like to do anything. I there's well, nothing. Daily had a bunch done. of ideas for like what what should we, we should do for like to to gain things. She was saying we could I get had stuff. Zero ideas. If they're not going to respond, but like there's no point in killing them if they're not hostile. God, I didn't know it would kill the guy. <laughs> mm. I thought I was fucking curing him. Like, damn. You did cure him of his well, life. I mean, also, yeah, he's cured, sort of. <laughs> he's no longer under under the effects of that spell. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, if you guys don't do anything, this lady just goes about her business. <clears throat> Every once in a while, she manipulates the mouse and does something and types for a few seconds. <clears throat> You could guess she's going over, like, some sort of reports or some lengthy document. Yeah, uh, Daly's just been trying to it. observe, like, she's trying this. to see what he's, what the person is typing, like, if there's any evidence of, like, a pill bottle around her station or, like, on her person. Okay, uh, you do see a pill bottle on the desk. Um, it is open, the cap is off. Um, the monitor is off, like there's nothing displaying on the screen, and every time she types, you know, you watch her, her keystrokes, and she seems to be typing complete gibberish. Just completely randomized keystrokes. Okay, yes. interesting. What does the pill bottle say? Is it, the, like, can I read it? Like, is it the same as the other one? Uh, it looks to be. You can only read about half of it, but that's that's enough to understand what it is. It's It seems to say the same thing as all the other pill bottles. And can I see anything in it this time, since it's with the nope. person? You don't seem nope. to see anything inside of it. Hmm. Okay. Every once in a while, this lady does... Uh, drink from this mug that she has on the side, but uh, there doesn't seem to be anything in it, but it is steaming, like it's a hot drink, but when you look inside the mug, and you know, at this point, you might have gotten bold enough to just walk right up to her, and you're like looking on her desk, like stand, like leaning oh, your Denise, head in front of what would be so her face, basic. getting in between her and the monitor, and just He's just complete, completely oblivious to your presence. Um, I put an image of Daly in the uh, the messenger. Okay. Uh, probably get it onto. Yeah, I'll, go, I'll, I'll take there. care of that. Hey. Uh. 
But it seems like there's some kind of alternate reality thing going on here. <clears throat> Agreed. I doubt that she sees an empty cup and uh, and a blank screen. But if that's the case, then how come some of them are reacting to us in this reality? And if so, what is it specifically that brings them to the place where they can interact with us here in this reality? Good question. Um, so the first one was uh, Bettany opened like a closet, right? What or downstairs? Yeah, yeah, it was like it was like a storeroom. There were some lockers. It was like an employee. Um, yeah, it was a locker aisle changing room. Yeah, yeah, like right. changing okay. Room. So that was a person in the locker as the clothes. That's weird that time, too. yeah. And then the other people that came out just kind of, what, did they come out of other lockers? Um, no, they were just, they weren't in the hallway when Bettany went down the hallway. But by the time you guys got there, they were in the hallway. Oh, okay. <laughs> I had a question. Do these stairs go up as well as uh, down? Uh, you don't. You guys don't know that there's another set of stairs over there. Okay, yeah, so, like on the so this, this the one wall. is the one we came up, right? Or went down yeah. and came. Oh up. wait, yeah, this one. So you came up these ones, and yeah, this is another set of stairs up. So no, you're right. You're right. Okay. Yeah, we just don't know that this side. Is yeah, there. you don't know there's another set of them, but you do know that there's another set of stairs that do go up. Okay. I mean, um, in this place, do we really? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> But uh, head, you know. Anyways, <laughs> but uh, yeah. I guess uh, the last thing you do notice after all this time on this desk is there is a little bell that you could ring. Daly's gonna step in front of the desk and very gently ring the bell. As soon as you ring that bell, uh, this lady reacts. She stops what she's doing, and the, the chair glides over a little bit, because she's kind of off, like, to in the corner of the desk, like, so she can view the monitor. But she le she wheels back over to kind of, like, the center to get a good look at you. And uh, this desk is, like, tall enough that your head just barely pokes above it. Because aren't, aren't, isn't Daly really short? If, yeah, yes. Daly's a halfling. Yeah, she's like four foot on a good day. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, your head kind of barely peeks above this desk. Um, and this invisible lady is wearing a pair of glasses that you can see. She wheels over and the glasses kind of angle down towards you as if she's looking down. Um she has a bracelet on what would be her right arm. And you see the bracelet come up and she makes like a gesture. She kind of gestures towards you, but you don't hear her speak. Were those other like features visible before I rang the bell or no? Oh, the glasses and the bracelet? They were visible. Yeah. I'm just oh, okay. bringing them up again because they're a oh. little more relevant describing her gestures. All right, and now she's gesturing like she's saying something, but I can't hear her. Yeah, you don't see the uh, the glasses, like, bobbing. Like, if somebody is more animated when they're talking, you know, they their head might be moving back and forth. You don't see any movement in the glasses like that. So she might not be talking, but you can't really tell. It's just nice. She is at least gesturing towards you. So she sees you. Actually, I'm higher now. What do you say? Um, I think I'm going to ask her if if she can direct me to Dr. Dato 
that uh, because we've ha- we've spoken before, and I'm looking into working with him on a project. Okay. You see her, uh, she makes some kind of gesture with her hand. Um, the bracelet kind of spins around, like maybe she's flipping her hand around. Possibly, maybe holding up a finger, like, one moment, please. She makes a few keystrokes on her computer. Um, then leans back over and kind of, sh- and you see the glasses move back and forth as if she's shaking her head no. Well, I'm going to ask then if uh, she could give him a message for me. She nods yes to that. What's your message? I don't know, guys. What should I do? Should I ask for, like, something about the this? change your story pills or <clears throat> no information from the peanut gallery here i'm thinking i'm thinking you only asked the question two seconds go down <laughs> <clears throat> Probably should have warned you before I joined this campaign. I'm horrible at puzzles. Uh-huh. I'll leave well, the investigating to the investigators. <laughs> that's the sad thing, is I have investigation. She was an occultist investigator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so hard to roleplay what you're not good at. <laughs> um... <clears throat> Maybe, uh, so over the top table, mm-hmm. um, oh fuck, you you already said that, uh, you're supposed to work on something with him, right? So I guess she's not going to believe you if you say you got an appointment. Well, I don't know. Maybe I could because he, I mean, he said he would contact me. So I could say something about, you know, I'm waiting for him or something, or, like, he should hurry up. I don't know. Um, Could I maybe, like, uh, I don't know, w- would we be able to use, like, a, a, a deception check, and maybe uh, if I say something, I can give uh, daily advantage? You could definitely try to do that. Alright, alright. I mean, I've never lied to an invisible person before. Maybe it'll work. I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, Dear, uh, my friend here, and and well, the rest of us. Well, we we have an appointment. Uh, see, I uh, we have. Do we have? Do we have phones? Um, you guys don't have any phones. Like, you have no reason to right. use them because you've got the uh the little quantum headsets. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was hoping more for like you know Google Calendar and shit. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if if you think Bettany would have a phone, you could definitely have a phone. I mean, she's a southern debutante. Girl ain't getting nowhere without talking to people. Although, I guess we're not supposed to talk to our, our fucking old relations, are we, once we find up? Not particularly. So your phone would definitely have some foundation filters on it. We don't exist no more. You know what? Maybe, really. maybe Maybe I, I've, I've got one. And uh, you know what? Before I come up, I'm going to quickly, like, you know, put something in my calendar. And I'm going to walk up and there we we have an appointment, as you could see right here. And I'm just going to turn the screen and it shows, uh, you know, a meeting with Dato. Maybe there's been some sort of a mix up. Uh, maybe if you could uh, allow us to go talk to him, it it might it might help the situation. He looks at your phone. Uh, you give me a deception check, I guess. <laughs> uh, do you want me to do it, or do you want uh, Daily to have advantage? Because she's the one who started it, right? Right, or should we both do it? Well, whichever one to one, however you want to do it, you can both roll, or one of you can take advantage. Um, 
All right, how how how, how is your deception? I mean, it's your lie to me. Yeah, I would also expect uh, the southern investigator to be better at lying than the researcher. Which is weird. I actually took Arcana, History, Investigation, Religion, and Stealth. I, I still I, think you have higher charisma. Probably, yeah. I am a, I am a charisma character after all. All right. Mother... Yeah. Damn. Uh, 12. <clears throat> uh, you can't see her squint her eyes. <laughs> but, um, because she doesn't have any. And she doesn't. Um, she looks down. You do see her kind of cock her head to the side a little bit. I inside check reaches... that cock <laughs> to the head? Sure. Sure. Uh, yeah, you know, it's very clearly the type of, like, head tilt that someone would make either, like, when they don't fully understand something or are just confused. It's definitely that kind of motion. Oh. Okay, so then Daly's going to kind of, like, slide in and be like, you see, madam, um, I spoke with Dr. Dato earlier, and he said he'd be in contact with me. However, I'm kind of in a rush, so I was, and I'm in the area. So I was kind of hoping I could speak with him sooner. If you could just get us in. We did have this meeting after all. Mm. Okay. Um, so what she's going to do is hand you guys a, what's basically a business card. And on this business card, in Comic Sans, it just says, Dado, office hours. None. This bitch. <laughs> well, it says it says none, and then it says February twenty ninth, one thirty to one forty five. No a.m. or p.m. <laughs> okay, I'm 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 sorry. I think I misheard that. Can you one more time? February twenty um, ninth. Yeah, it 1 says 30 to 1 45 p.m. I don't I don't suppose we're anywhere near uh the uh the 28th or uh you know maybe uh, uh, no, on a no. leap year. It is it is a leap year, but it's like April. <laughs> Fuck. So you missed it by a fair margin. Damn. Well, okay, above the table, what could I say? He did say he would get in, in touch with me via Amazon Prime, so, like, how could we work this here? Um, where do you get your Amazon Prime deliveries? <laughs> Back at the site? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess. Well, then, um, check your next Amazon delivery. <laughs> I know our next lead. <laughs> we need to go interrogate Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Clearly. Oh, I think Amazon is a group of interest in this setting. Um, hmm. Could I maybe... Maybe I can ask her if she knows where the lab is. If you ask her that, she points, like, down. But she does also hand you another business card. Um, this business card um, is not in Comic Sans and all lowercase. It is a much more normal-looking business card. Um, it is for an individual named, um, we'll say, uh, Philip DiGregorio. Manager. Dado Laundry and Tan. Ooh. Oh, thank you so much, ma'am. You've been extremely helpful. I hope you have a wonderful day. She nods. Um, and also on that business card, besides the the information I already provided, it says, you know, it has the the address to this building. 
it says um and it basically just says third floor all right guess we have our new heading all right <clears throat> thank you ma'am we'll be on our way now and she's just gonna start she, she's tired of this shit she she's just gonna start <laughs> heading toward back towards the fucking stairs Yep. I mean, that's where I'm headed. Is okay. everybody else coming? Yep. Uh, yeah, we've already left. Makes sense. <laughs> Chris, Chris, puts out his, Chris puts out his joint and follows. He's drinking he alcohol. He's doing cocaine. <laughs> yeah, and then a little, little weed to just, like, just to round him off. God damn, yeah, Grish was me four years ago, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, fucking wild days, bud. <laughs> I know. No, the disturbing part is that this is like a fucking sixty-year-old man. Yeah, this is not it's a amazing. young guy. <laughs> He's still, still alive. All right, so you guys head up the stairs. Yeah, I guess. All so. right. All right. Yeah, Please you guys start, start to head up. You guys start to head up the stairs, and you come up and are over here now. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this looks like the place you are very similar to where you just were. There's another bathroom on your right. There's another door out. So, you know, these buildings are usually designed pretty similarly. They Floor. The floors all look very, very similar. This hallway looks the same. There's more frosted glass. Um, this area you see out here is a little different than the one you saw on the previous floor. You know, there's all these cubicles and stuff, but there's this kind of like central area with like space for laptops, and it's kind of like a more What's the term? Um, maybe versatile workspace. It's okay. it has less Touchdown. dedicated stuff. Call it. Touchdown. Touchdown. Okay. I don't know why. I guess because yeah, anybody heard of that. can kind of sit down there, and it's it's a thing. Yeah, it seems to be yeah. like maybe, yeah, maybe overflow space. Any any term you want to use. Um, but yeah, daily. If you turn around that corner, you see the reception desk and. The chairs you passed by. I mean, isn't this supposed to be the lab, though? No, she pointed down for the lab. Oh, so we're just supposed to find the manager guy, right? Yeah, that seemed yeah. to be where you guys were going. I'm going to turn around and just go down the stairs this time. Okay, you go down the stairs. Yep. You end up Gersh, over here. Uh, peeks around the corner. We're gonna keep going down. Uh, yeah, you go down the <laughs> stairs again, and you end up on the first floor, that uh, hallway where you fought the fought the guys, and there's that there's that basement lab area. Yeah, I'll just I'll hit them up and just be like, keep going down the stairs the way we came. Wait, okay, so where's the reception area again? So it's right here. Dimitri, we've already cleared the bottom floor. Go any higher. Well, we have to try. Wasn't there like an elevator? I thought there was an elevator last session. I don't there remember were, an elevator. There were more stairs up, right? Yeah, there were more stairs up. All right, Gersh goes up. Okay, you go up the stairs, and uh, you end up over here. <laughs> like as if you just came up this way. That's where you just did. <laughs> uh, yeah, you go up the stairs, and you end up over here. Mm. Curse goes up. Uh, yeah, you end up over here again, and I don't know if Dimitri's coming back up the stairs, but you pass Dimitri. I'm like standing at the bottom of the stairs, like looking up, <laughs> <laughs> waiting for people. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm just gonna head down uh, along with uh, Dimitri. 
Okay. So you're sitting at the bottom of the stairs on the first floor with Dimitri. Um, Gersh, you keep going up the stairs. Um, we'll say you don't pass Dimitri. Um, you don't seem to see him at the bottom of the stairs, but each time you just keep ending up over here. Okay. Um, Gersh is going to pull out his anomaly disruptor again. Okay. Are you, are you using it on the the building? I'm well. On, oh shoot! On the stairs, the building, huh? I was well, gonna. Maybe. I was gonna say the stairs. Okay, you could use it on the stairs. All right. What you? What level are you casting it at? I'm gonna stick to a third level cast. Okay. Wow. Uh, yeah, that familiar, like, faint red wave comes out. It bounces around inside the stairwell, but it doesn't seem to take hold on anything. Okay. I should have taken some. I mean, do you want to fight the stairs? <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying, man. I don't have any fucking non u or I don't have any utility stuff. Yeah, so if you want to do combat, you could fight the stairs. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Bonus action. <laughs> Hendra comes out. He claws the stairs. Um Yeah, you fuck up the stairs. Um Oh my god, I we can leave markers. <laughs> I don't know. May maybe we can tell, you know, if there's ever a change. Have you seen the movie Labyrinth? Dan's Labyrinth? Mm -hmm. No. No. Like David Bowie Labyrinth. Oh, uh -oh. no. No. Yeah. I haven't. I wouldn't count on markings. I'll be honest, my, my, my symbiote is just mostly for combat. So the, seeing that that yeah. didn't do anything, she just morphs back to her. Okay. And, and she says, See, Hendrick, I told you that won't fucking work. Now would you just shut up and listen to me? What are we going to do, yeah, guys? So... <clears throat> so what? We leave? Come in by the roof? Perhaps maybe. that may be the only option. Nobody breached the roof last time. Perhaps, you know, might well, be different. Why do I feel you know, that when we go uh, end up on the first floor? It's possible. Okay, so but Dimitri, otherwise, you're, you're, back, a... you're back up on this floor now? No, I'm using the communicator to talk to oh, okay, cool. the group. Um, but uh, you know, okay. I feel like we might just be at a dead end here. Okay, is that what you guys want to do? I mean, personally, uh, over the top table, I am, I am out of fucking. I've been out of ideas since we fucking walked in this bitch. <laughs> like, <laughs> Lauren, any thoughts? I'm still waiting to um, find this Charles guy while y'all's fucking around. We're trying to get up to fucking Charles. That's what we're doing. We're trying to get to the third floor. We can't. Charles. Um. No, that's not where he is. That's where the lab is. No, yeah, the, the lab, lab is, in the is down in the basement. We've already been there. Yeah, but doesn't that Charles guy? And we're on the oh, like no, we're wait. on the third floor. Like we're that's on what the we second we floor. Upstairs, I thought. No, I thought we went we're upstairs on. to the third floor. And when we went upstairs, nope. we just ended up on the other stairs on the same floor. Yeah, you guys went up the stairs and came out on the second floor again, which you were already on. Yeah, just the other side um, of the stairs. Some fucky wucky spatial nonsense.
But Daly, are you hanging out in front of the receptionist desk? I don't know. Honestly, I'm confused. Like I thought you said we went up, and you said that it was a, it was similar, but it was different. Oh, I was just describing it. Like, oh yeah, it looks similar. You know, these build these floors all tend to look the same until you came out and you're like, oh, we're on the same floor. That's why it looks similar because it's the yeah. same mm. fucking floor. <laughs> I mean, I do kind of want to go back for a second, wander back upstairs. You can totally do that. Because something just occurred to me. Okay. Uh, just because just I'm curious. Sure. Uh, and I'm just going to kind of wander over here, and I'm going to burn my field scanner on this bitch. Oh, okay. Yeah. Throw that up for me. What, is it, what does it do again? Uh, Basically, cool. the, the identify spell? Yeah. Essentially, everything. <laughs> well, yeah, I got. It. I just put the yeah. whole thing in there. So, okay. Are you scanning her, the table, her, her specifically? Yeah. Um. Yeah. So you get some. Like the scanner kind is is like an intelligent scanner. Like it can kind of figure out what it's scanning, and collate data in like a relevant kind of way. Like, if you scan, like, a person, it'll give you, like, it'll give you a readout of data, and it'll, like, label stuff like, you know, heart rate, this. Um, like, blood sugar content, this. Like, it'll give readouts like that. Um, okay. So, it gives you a readout of this woman's vitals, but they're all blank. Like, the scanner can figure out that they're supposed to be vitals, but they're all just an empty dash. There's nothing there. Her. Um, if you want oh. to, you can give me a... some kind of ability check. Um, what's... You can go ahead and give me a... We'll say... We'll just say it's a wisdom check. Or Perhaps intelligence, your choice. Yeah. Yeah, they're the same. So Okay. Wow. Yeah. Um Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, you get some other like you get another like feed of data. It's and you've used this before and like the anomalous portion of the scan. Um, mm -hmm. that like spit, tries to sift through anomalous properties on something, it's usually fairly garbled and difficult to uh, directly interpret because it's it's almost like a mechanical stream of consciousness, basically. It's like, while the mundane information gets automatically sorted by the scanner, the anomalous data usually has nothing to compare to. So it's usually fairly raw. Um, and in this case, you're unable to sort through it to gain any uh, particular information. Is there any way I could pass this information off to somebody else? Uh, it doesn't really work that way. It would That's be like fair. it would be like handing a bunch of just a bunch of code to somebody that's not a programmer. Okay. No, that's fair. I just wanted to, you know, because I imagine we probably have like analysts or some shit, you know, back yeah. in. Yeah. I mean, you can send site. it back to Graham and he can take it, but it might take a little while to crunch that information. Yeah. You know what? If I can, I'll, I'll send that back to him and I'll be like, see if you can make sense of any of this. Uh, I mean, I'm not the code breaker, but I can pass it along to some researchers that are. I can't sure. guarantee we'll find anything from this or when we might have that information, but uh, I'll let you know. Good. I mean, it was worth a shot, you know. Yeah. Uh... <clears throat> I will share that information, though, that everything comes up blank. Mm -hmm for vitals and such. Mm -hmm. It's like these guys either don't exist or whatever's whatever. making them 
the way they are, you know, just mucking with my shit. Yeah, they don't exist. They exist somewhere else. They're dead. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Dimitri's not the scientific type, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, he's he's muscle. That's it, really. Yep. So, <laughs> but I figured it was worth a shot. Yeah. yeah. So what are you guys doing now? Benny's lost and she's going to follow the group at this point. <laughs> She she got nothing left. We okay. do have a lead capacity. though. That uh, Philip guy. Philip yeah, the manager. Charles Gregor, what the uh, Philip, Philip D. Gregorio. Philip to Gregorio. Okay. Yeah. I mean, eh. unless we want to find some way to get to February twenty eighth, and you know, try and get a meeting with Dad at Dato. Listen, there are weirder ways to solve this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, but I'm just saying, like, you know, in character. Uh, well, are there, all right, are there elevators here or in the building or not? Yeah, I was going to say, we should look at all the other elements on the floor, like. Um, um, yeah, you could also totally... a parking garage. Where's the, we never saw, found a parking garage in either. No, you didn't see an entrance to the parking garage. Mm. Not on the first right. And she said the lab was down, so we got to figure out how yeah. to go down. And maybe we've we'll find the other the guy. Yeah, yeah, you we guys were in the lab yeah, already. Makeshift kind of cool. shitty lab. But that's what I mean. How do we know that that was the one? And, and we didn't find this other dude either. Or like any office that said his name. Because, this, because he's on the third floor. We've never been to the third floor. Yeah, there's some exactly. sort of special anomaly that's keeping us from going up there. Right, so that's what I'm saying. Exactly. So we've got to figure out how to how to yeah. navigate this place. Yeah, so yeah. you guys are looking around for elevators? Sure. Well, yeah. Asking if there's other, elevators. Any, any other exit, you know. Mm. So right in the reception area, there's like this wall. Um they're like what look like elevator doors, but when you were wow. passing by them, you didn't see any buttons. Okay. And, you know, you might not have paid any attention to them because, you know, you knew there were stairs around the corner. And if you're just is going up one floor... Is it possible that the receptionist, is, like, controls them since she's facing them? Could be. You'd have to go ask her. Grigor, Grigor, or fucking Dimitri, Gregor, Gregor, <laughs> Gregor, <laughs> we must, we must get to the church, Gregor. <laughs> He's uh, all right. So Daly's gonna march over there and ask if the receptionist could kindly send her to the third floor. Give me a always just persuasion. I was going to say the door if we're yeah, getting tired of this. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, give me a persuasion check. Sorry. See if you can persuade her to send you to the third floor. Fifteen. All right. All right. So you guys see uh, Daily ask the receptionist to send her to the third floor. Um, that bracelet raises up in the air and. Um, Daily, uh, you can make a con save if you'd like to. You, you feel you feel something take hold of your position, <laughs> attempting to move you. Do you resist?
Oh, wait, she's she's yelling. I, I think she might be trying to say something. Oh, I can't hear her if she is. Broadcast, right? I can... How do you make it? You got to... The... So yeah, Daly's making a save. Okay. The fifteen again. A fifteen. That's pretty good. You managed to resist this effect. You felt yourself getting like pulled upward, and it wasn't, you know, it wasn't something like something grabbed you by the scruff of the neck and started lifting you up. Like you felt your whole body being acted upon. Um, but you managed to hold it together and you are not moved. Oh, so she tried to like send me through the ceiling. Huh. Something like that. Oh, well, ask her to send all of us. Are you sure? <laughs> you have a better idea? I mean, I guess not. So Daly's going to turn around and be like, I'm sorry, ma'am. Would you mind sending all of us up? Mm. The the glasses, like, kind of move slowly to take stock of the whole group. The braceleted hand kind of, like, goes up. She's, like, seems to be rubbing her chin a little bit. <laughs> And then uh, you see, like, the shoulders in the, like, in the clothing kind of shrug. And uh, she waves her hand. Um, all of you can make con saves if you would like to. Nah, just gonna let it happen. Yep. Okay. In that case, you auto-fail and give me a D100. Oh, shit. <laughs> all right. All Wait, of mommy. you. Is it too late to change my mind? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Going for a little trip. <gasps> yeah. All right. Let's see what what you guys get. So I got this cool ca uh, idea for backup character. You know. <laughs> He's a bug man. <laughs> the bug man. He's a bug man. <laughs> He's a guy made of bugs. Oh. Uh. Yeah. All right. So um. We'll do uh, Bettany first. Your skin turns blue. I'm sorry, the fuck? Your skin turns blue. Oh, I heard you. Yeah. That's it. You don't get moved. Why? Why did I turn into a blueberry? <laughs> it's some bullshit. Oh, um, Dimitri, roll me a D3. Okay. One. All right. Um, Dimitri, you feel something you have not felt in a long time. Oh, yeah. Nausea. Hmm. Which Gross. does not make a whole lot of sense to you. Yeah. You do feel the need to vomit, but you don't... It's not like... You feel like you could vomit if you wanted to, but you hold it back. It's, it's up to you if you want to vomit. If not, you are poisoned for one hour. I'll purge my system. Fuck it. Okay. Um, you purge your system. You take 21 poison damage. Cool. <laughs> and you are no longer poisoned. Just doing them in order here. Uh, Gersh. Oh, yeah. Gersh poisoned. Yeah, you. Uh, it would have worn off by now. It was only... Oh, okay. 
and I forgot to apply it during that combat. So um, that's my gift to you, I guess. Um, <laughs> all right. So, Gersh, for the next minute, you and all creatures within 30 feet of you gain vulnerability to piercing damage. Okay. <laughs> Does that feel like anything when it happens? <laughs> Um, yeah, you just or get does like. It just seem like nothing happened. It, like at first, it seems like nothing happened. Um, then like, you get like a little itch on your neck, and you scratch it, and your nail just digs into your skin really easily. <laughs> uh. And your stands very <laughs> still for a while. <laughs> and finally, um, Daly. Ooh, uh, Daly, roll me a d10. Okay, everybody besides Daly takes five necrotic damage. <laughs> and Daly, you regain 15 hit points. I don't think you were injured, but, um, like, everyone, um, Dimitri, Gersh, and Bettany, you feel, you feel like your blood, your, just like your vitality being, like, sapped off of you, and this thin, like, faintly red trail floats over to, uh, Daly and coalesces around her any little scuffs that she had seems to clear up and heal over leaving no scar uh. um were Bethany or dimitri damaged before this no well dimitri uh, took some damage from vomiting yeah but oh. i popped a curative oh i thought you just already, said we so. all take five damage yes you all do oh, yeah. right? oh. Yeah, so well, all yeah, of, was, yeah, the everybody. three of you, yeah, the three of you take five damage, and then Daly recovers 15. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm a, mostly in working order. Word, yeah, all right, Gersh is gonna pull out a, a flask, smash it on the ground, uh, a, like a, a little glowing cloud comes out and rushes to everyone's <laughs> wound nearby in the vicinity. Holy oh, fuck! So that's my channel, Divinity Preserve Life. Uh, I'm gonna take 20 for me, and I'm gonna split 10 piece between. Uh, doesn't that only Duncan. work up to like half hit points? Oh, uh, you know what? Yeah, you're right. I think it does. All right, fuck it. I don't do. I forgot about that. Yeah. Also, I guess Dimitri kind of construct. That one more time? I said out. also Dimitri might be a construct. I don't know. Um, he's mechanically a warforged, so he's fine. Uh, okay. Um, but yeah, uh, that all those effects happen. Okay. And you look back at the receptionist, and she kind of shrugs. Okay, so what? We have to fail the con save? We did fail. Yeah, yeah. we, we chose to fail. And obviously, succeeding did nothing. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems like she was trying to move you guys, but whatever anomalous abilities bestowed by this uh, drug are are not easily controlled by anyone like you could feel you could feel the intent that she had was trying to move you but like and you all felt it at first and but once you gave in it uh the the effect seemed to change wildly for each of you oh so because we gave in it, it fucked no. up? No, like, you felt you felt the pull at first, like she was trying to move you all. And then after it hit a certain point, and, 
would have like started to move you, the effect just changed. Yeah, it just didn't. She did. She failed. Yeah, like you could feel what she was trying to do, but she's just not fully capable of doing it. Got to try it again, maybe. Uh, if you I want to, I'm gonna try. Might be I, a bad I, idea. I'm, I'm gonna ask her. Try it one more time. Give her one more. <clears throat> Sorry. Dear, if you could try that just one more time. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Maybe if she had help. What kind of help are you going to give her? No, 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 no. Gee, if fucking Gersh didn't murder the other person in the office. Oh, try to get some other people? Um, yeah. I mean, there might be other people in the office. Well, didn't we look around for other? Do- oh, um, I guess we didn't you looked. Look you looked down here. I mean, there's also a bunch of uh, doors that are closed along this wall. Maybe there's some people in there. This is a fairly large office. Yeah, maybe it just takes more people. Maybe. Maybe, but like, maybe they have to have the right clearance. I don't know. I mean, if she just failed because she wasn't like able to control it, slash, wasn't strong enough, then anybody should be able to do it. I don't know. What do we think? Should we just look for every everybody we can find? Just round them all up, stick them in a pile, and say, "Hey, teleport us to the next floor." <laughs> Is that the plan, Daly? Asking y'all. I'm I'm down with it. Run right out and start getting people. Yeah, you guys could do that. Fair enough. All right, I'm gonna go find people. Okay. So we'll say you all you spread out. Um, Uh, where exactly is everybody looking first? Just move your tokens in wh- whichever direction you want. I'll check I these guess. offices here. Okay, so, yeah, Bethany, you go into this office. There's nobody in this one. Um, but, uh, like, in the office itself, it's just, it's a fairly normal office. There's, you know, a computer, a little, uh, like, inter-office phone with a directory next to it, that kind of thing. Seems like this office hasn't really been used too much. All right, so I don't see no clothes sitting behind the desk? Not at this one. Next office. All right, we'll jump to uh, Daly first. Good, I need a beer. (laughs) Get one. All right, Daly, you walk up here. um, And up here, you definitely hear more lively sounds of typing. Um, Right in here... Seems like there's two individuals right here typing. Um, I'm going to ask them if they could come with uh, me for a second. Then I can't fucking grab it. Will they come with me or no? Um, they don't seem to react. They just keep typing away. Um, do you interact with them more closely? Um, I'm a. I don't know, I guess I'm going to check and see if, like, they have any, like, bells or inboxes or, like, letterboxes or something that I could get their um, attention with. They've they've got some... On their desks, it's pretty bare bones. They've got some slots for, like, um, 
like mail in and mail out, that kind of thing. And they both have phones with directories. Um, I'm going to write a little note that says meet me at reception for both of them and put it in the inbox. Okay. Yeah, you put it in the inbox and you wait a moment or two. And they both, like, simultaneously, they stop typing. They reach over to the mail in and they either open or unfold the note. They seem to read it. Um, they both kind of turn to each other, and it's hard to tell without a head or without glasses of any kind, but they it looks like they kind of nod at each other. Um, and they kind of go back to typing for now. Seems like they're trying to finish something up. Okay. Um, I'm going to take this as a good sign, and I'm going to Keep looking for people. Okay. Dimitri. Yeah, I'm just looking around for more people down here in this area. Okay. So over here, kind of across from the uh, the guy that was cured, you do see another figure. You, you didn't seem to spot him before, but that's because he's like, this figure is completely motionless, and it, in a way... He's slumped down on the desk like he's asleep at his desk. Your presence is required, and I'm just going to grab him by the back of the collar and start dragging him back the other uh, way. Give me a strength save to try to save? move him. Yeah. That's a 12. Yeah, so you try to move him, and as soon and you, as soon as you pull, you feel this intense pull back, and you fall over in front of him. Fuck. Like, you were trying to move the weight of, like, an Abrams tank. Things are fucking weird. Uh, yeah. Any reaction from it? No, he seems to still be slumped over on his desk. All right, well, we're going to give it another shot. <laughs> okay. Just give me this guy. Give me another strength save. Jesus Christ, what is with the rolls tonight? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? Yeah, so you go to pull against him again. And this time you... You still don't move him. But this time, like, you pull, like, you know what to expect. So you're in this low stance. You pull as hard as you possibly can. But, and then you feel some movement. You're like, oh, progress. And you realize it's your, gaunt like, par parts on your gauntlet snapping slightly. <clears throat> and you take, uh, we'll say... We'll say 10 necrotic damage from that. Or just... 10 damage. Typeless damage. <laughs> okay. You hurt yourself. Apparently. Uh, 10 hernia damage. Yeah. Yeah, um, I don't know what to do with that. Well, if you're... If you're still look, are you gonna look closer at his desk or anything like that? I mean, yeah, I'll take a, I'll take a peek. All right. Well, he's got um, you know, his monitor seems to be off like everybody else. Um, he's asleep on top of his keyboard, but he also has his phone sitting next to him. Fuck, take his phone then. All right. Do you turn it on? Yeah. Yeah, uh, you turn it on. Um, there's no passcode. Um, it doesn't seem to have service right now. Okay. Um, there's, if you go through it, there's like, there's no pictures, there's no text messages, there's no calls or anything like that. Um, there's just like the calendar app. 
there's like this like the the timer and stopwatch and alarm apps those type of things like it's super basic like a lot of things have been deleted off of it anything tagged in the calendar um every every day like 9 to 5 monday through friday it says business Okay. Um Hmm. I I mean I'll take the phone, you know. Okay. I mean, you could also you could give me like an intelligence check or an insight check if you wanted to. Okay. For a clue. Uh Let's see. Fucking both are zero. <laughs> Four. Look at that. Damn. Rolls are fire tonight. All right, because that's your like fourth shitty roll in a row. I'm gonna give you advantage on that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's so a pity a, advantage. A, yeah, with a fifteen. <laughs> um, with a fifteen, um, people usually wake up when their alarms go off. All right, I'll I'll open the clock app and I'll set the alarm for one second and then hit <laughs> go. <laughs> Just hold it by this thing's where where his head would be. Okay, yeah, the alarm goes off and this figure just darts up and just frantically starts typing. Your presence is required. It it looks around, he looks he kind of looks at you. <sighs> He's he stands up and he's just like he's in a ready position, but he's just standing there waiting for some more direction from you. Go stand in reception and wait for me. All right. He like he like darts back and forth, kind of trying to get around you. I'll sidestep. All right. Yeah. And then he, he runs off and he goes and he sits by reception. I got one. I'll call over to Gersh. See anyone where he is? Um, hold on. Pop up. Okay. Um, yeah, over by you. Um, you don't see anyone here, but at this desk, you do see, like, a little folded paper sign that says, Out to Lunch. Uh, okay. Uh, so. Be back at, um, yeah, be back at, like, 2 o'clock, and it is currently, like, 11.45. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just go over here then. All right, yeah, you don't really see too much at these, like, meeting tables. Um, at the center of each one, there is another phone with a little directory on it. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I'm having so much fun uh, with you right What now. does the directory <laughs> say? So it seems to list, um, a variety of employees. Um, top of the list is... Philip Di Gregorio, manager, reception, and then it just lists like a bunch of cubicles by their number. Um, it lists like um, meeting room, and then at the bottom it says Dato. <laughs> um, Gersh picks up the phone and. Uh... Giles Philip D. Gregorio is the button for him. Okay. Uh yeah, that's like just the first uh the first entry in the in the directory. Yeah, right? yeah. So it rings uh we'll say it rings three times. And it picks up and there's a voice on the other end. Uh D. De Gr Gregorio here, what do you need? Mr. D. Gregorio, uh, are you in the office today? 
I'm in the office every day. Ah, okay. Uh, I am is the still office. on the third floor? Uh, it's been on the third floor this whole time. You would know that. Aren't... Wait, who are you? <clears throat> I'm a visitor. I'm trying to make an appointment. Uh, if... Why? We don't take appointments. <clears throat> well, what the hell do you do? Laundry and tan. Uh, you know. Well, that's what I'm here to make an appointment for. I've got laundry machines and tanning beds. Uh, tanning oils. We do oils and washing machines and tanning beds and and detergent. Washing detergent. You okay, okay, okay. You so what? You want to rent from us? You want to what? Yeah, I want to make a business deal. A business de okay. Well, <laughs> I like business deals. Um, give me a deception check. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's gonna go great. Um, Gersh, uh, Gersh pops some booster salts. Christ. Hey, not bad. Uh, all right, yeah, and then I'm going to... And roll your little booster salts. All right, 18. Um, yeah, you, uh, if, if you want to, you can, uh, come on up in about 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Great. How do I get up there? Uh, the stairs, like a normal person. Uh, okay. I was having some trouble with the stairs earlier. Oh, well, yeah. If you don't have an appointment, uh, then you can't come up. Okay. My team and I will be up to give you a presentation. Whoa, in whoa, 10 whoa, minutes. whoa, whoa. You got a team? What kind of team? We got... Uh, we got Daly from uh from the lab. <clears throat> she did. She does the detergent designs. Oh, okay. Anything? And, and anything fancy? Like, I don't know. You gotta let her explain it to you. All right. All Bethany, right. All right. She's our she's our sales rep. She'd be her. She'd be the day to day. Uh, Dimitri is lugging the samples. Indeed. Okay. You hired some Russian help. That's great. Yeah, just small team. All right. Well, See yeah. You in ten be, minutes. I'll be ready in ten minutes for you. Looking forward to it. Curtis hangs up. I'm uh, sure. You hear after the phone is hung up. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, all right. Yeah, Gersh uh, walks back over to reception. He's very satisfied with himself. Okay, uh, we'll go back to Bettany. Um, yeah, in this office, um, there is a single individual on the couch, and there is a bottle of alcohol on the floor empty. Um, this is a very professional office. Empty? No, it's empty except for a single individual on the chair. No, no, the like, bottle. It's... I don't give a oh, fuck yeah, the about bottles. the room. The bottle's the okay. most important part. Damn. Yeah, the bottle's empty. Huh. Well, she had a thought she was going to do something else, but I guess... She's going to say hi and wave. Does anything back. Uh, he, he does not. I'm going to walk over and pick up the bottle and put it back down on the table, Jen. Okay. You put it back down on the table. 
Um, and do you linger a moment or do you leave right away? Um, I lingered just long enough to do like the uh, the motion of me keeping my mouth shut, you know, the the zipper across the lips, and a wink, and then I leave. Okay. Um, while you're doing that, you see the bottle of alcohol start to fill back up as it's on, at, on the table. She looks around. <laughs> okay, Hendrick, just one. Sorry. All right, Hendrick, just one. Uh, do you mind? And she's going to go to... You pick, get no response. <laughs> she's going to go towards... Uh, start to try and pick up the bottle. She's going to take a swig. Uh, yeah, you, you pick it up. It's a bottle. Um, it is Everclear. Yo, she's she's from the South, man. Ain't causing no problems. Okay. She takes that shit like a fucking champ. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can add bottle of Everclear to your inventory, I guess. Oh, no, she was just taking a sip. She's gonna put it down. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, she ain't taking it with her. Uh, when I said she takes it like a champ, I meant, you know, Oh, okay. She takes a takes All a right. swig out of it, and you know, yeah, you no take face a swig. or nothing. Yeah, you take a swig, you put it back down, and it fills back up to the top. Yeah, no, she 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 ain't fuck with no more than she actually has to. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she, um, give me leave. a con save. <laughs> yeah, all right. And a Hume save. Oh no! Oh, oh <laughs> no! All right, hold the on. Only thing safe in, one in of here. These. The only thing safe were the corn dogs. Damn. <laughs> All right. They were freeze burn. I don't know if I call that safe. All right. Just let me just take a look, see if I got any bonuses and shit I can add. I'm just. Taste All right. Yeah, no. Or that's... like re rolls right. or something. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. All right. Saving throws to resist exhaustion and death saving. On safe to hold concentration. Well, that doesn't apply. Okay. That's like probably no. No. All right. Here's the con save. Oh, I do not have advantage. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Damn, that wasted crit. Fuck. For real, dude. More than one waste wasted crit this night. Oh, it's um, been rough tonight. Yeah, um, so in regards to the con save, you definitely feel that Everclear, and it's not sitting right. You feel this burn on it. Um, you are poisoned. Motherfucker. All right. She kind of like coughs and gags. <coughs> mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh, that. Why does that feel so weird? And yeah, it's like lead in your stomach. Oh Oof. my god! I have not oh. rolled above a ten all night. I don't think. Oh no, uh, I, I rolled an eleven. Sorry, that's right. Right. Um. So you also feel your skin start to turn just a little transparent. Not much. Because you only had a swig. Uh, but, but your skin, your hair, all your biological material turns just faintly transparent. It's hard to say it's see-through, but... Hey, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn back around. I'm going to grab that bottle. Okay. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm gonna take that bottle with me because I need to figure out what the fuck is wrong with me, and I know <laughs> somebody. Had, I think Gershwin had a uh, or Gershwin or Daily are able to like analyze shit. I'm mm -hmm. grabbing that fucking bottle. Uh yeah, you go back in and grab the bottle, and when you walk back in, that figure is now sitting up on the chair on the couch. What do you do? I'm going to just reach for the bottle, see if he has any reaction before I actually touch it. Uh, as you get closer to the bottle, he stands up. All right, I don't I don't want to blow what the team 
on. So I'm going to just raise both my hands up and back away. All right. As you back away, he sits back down on the couch. And if you back out the door, he lays back down on the couch. You know what? What? I'm having a thought process. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. Yeah, no. I'll uh if we make it out of the rest of this alive, maybe I'll come back for that bottle. I'm uh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna head back to uh back towards Okay. You head back towards reception. Um, Daily, back to you. Um, as you reach this side, you do notice those two guys like get up and they're moving towards reception. What, you're investigating this place over here? Yeah, uh, do I see or hear anything over there in that area or like in the little conference room area? So in this conference room, um, you walk in um, and there's nobody in here. There's just the same. Um, there's another phone with a directory on the table. Like These phones are everywhere. Um, but there is a TV on the wall. And it looks like there's a video that's been paused. So what's what's the what's on the screen? What's on the screen is just the words "Dado Laundry and Town and Tan Fine Capitalist Business." LOL. Um, is there like a remote or something that I could unpause it? Uh, yeah, there's a, a remote like right on the stand underneath, underneath the TV. So I'm going to rewind it a little bit and then push play. Okay, so you rewind it. And, pu and push play and you hear Dado's voice. Hello, yes, this fine advertisement for Dado Laundry and Tan. Fine capitalist business, time for business, yes. New strategy to up to improve market share, um improve reach with advertising. Yes. Put give give out Give free samples to people, whoever wants. There's like a 30 second pause and it just continues to play. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that work. Dado, Dado ready. Dado send email. And then there's another lapse in sound. Another like 30, 40 seconds. You check how long the video is and it's like 15 minutes long. You, f you fast forward here and there and you don't really get much. Dado never speaks again during this video. Can I... <laughs> Uh, do I get any glimpse of like the email he sent, like what it is called or something, like on the screen, or like nope. any? No, like, but the the images phrase of, like the, the packages or the advertisements. No, all it said was it's just the phrase "dado laundry and tan," and every once in a while it'll rotate, <laughs> like a really <laughs> shitty MS Paint effect. <laughs> <laughs> But then Anyways. at the end of the at the end of the video, it just says "Dado not graphic designer." Huh. Damn, graphic design is my passion. 
No, but um, okay. Is there any list of like departments or anything in it, or like a thank you to anybody, um, or like a dedication to anybody? there's okay we'll we'll say there is like a list of like like basically the credits after a movie and it just says dato you know like how it would say like okay this character played by this actor yeah. it says dato for both spots okay <laughs> and that is that is it So there's no one else to be seen in this production, just him. Yep. Okay. Well, just the logo. And the logo. <laughs> Is there like a computer? Well, mm. I was going to oh. ask if there was a computer in the room or like there's other monitors in the office, but they're all blank to us, right? Yeah. Because mm. I kind of want to see this, this <laughs> email, <laughs> obviously, yeah, right? Because that's like his plan for these email. samples. Yeah. So, okay. Oh all the other computers seem to have been off, but you, nobody's tried any of the computers. True. Well, I think with that, I'm going to like walk out and try and see if I can find an empty cube with the computer and uh, see if I can find the email. Oh, yeah. You walk outside and or out of this room and there's cubicles right there. All with computers at them. Yeah, you, you turn it on and that la laundro, laundro, <laughs> Dato Laundry and Tan pops up on the screen. You click it, like you click through, and the login comes up. It's just, and it's asking for a username. Crap, I don't know what I should put. Should I put in the the guy's card we got? Or like should I just put in Dato? I don't know. Damn. You are Maybe. also fairly adept with computers. You could always try to hack it with your with your toolkit. Something like right. that. Right. I guess that's like my best bet. I mean, the other thing was to like try and see if the guys who just got up to go to reception left their computers logged in or not. But you want to do that instead? I mean, it doesn't hurt to check. No. Yeah. So you go over to uh to these computers over here. Um, you click on them, and those monitors come on as if they were recovering from a screensaver, but it's still asking for a login. Or rather, the username is already inputted, but it's asking for a password now. Because the, these two are farther farther in the process. What would you like to do? Sorry, I forgot I was on push to talk. Um, I said oh, okay. I guess I'll try to <laughs> hack into it. What do I have to roll for that? Um, so you would give me something like a uh, like a Tinker's Tools check, something mm. like that. Okay. Yeah, 27. That'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, uh, you know, you hook up your 
your uh, versatile mobile lab kit to the uh, to the computer. And it's fairly simple. There's really no security on these. All it is is like a really basic password. There's no isn't anything close to advanced. Like this is the type of thing you can hack in your sleep. And you do so. You get onto the desktop. There's very little on this desktop. There's an open Word document that is just a random jumble of letters. It is 300 pages long. Oh, boy. That's what's currently right. open. Mm -hmm. And then there's okay. also... Like, there's an app for email, there's an app for scheduling, and some other business-related apps. But that's all that's really on there. Yeah, so I'm going to try and look at the, like, inner office email app and uh, see if there's something that came from Dato or something that indicates, like, I don't know, this sample program or something like that. Okay, so you go, you go into the email, and there's... There's a lot of what look like um, automatic re like response email or automated type emails, things like um, just notifications of like Amazon shipments, stuff like that. And the like they're all pretty much they detail that it's being shipped from this building to this building. Wait, oh wait, so it's like an Amazon Moibus strip, like it's everything like is shipped out, is shipped back in. Kind of. But it's more like if you go like you know, you click through it and say like, okay, this package has arrived, this package has arrived. And there's a little button to hit for uh like the package the tracking. Lord. And when you click on that, <laughs> it like it'll give you like, okay, the package has left the um, left the warehouse and it's in it's in transit like all those things um it just lists package has left this address that you're currently at and then the next uh, bullet point is package has arrived at this address right that's what i was saying okay yeah. So what aside from that, like if I filter out that, can I find this um this like sample program email? Um yeah, so if you filter out like Amazon, you um that removes um we'll say twelve thousand emails. And there's much less emails actually displaying now. Um it's just there's the most recent one is from Dato, and it does like kind of detail, at least from the subject line, something about um the new advertisement strategy. Okay. Um, but there's also there's also an email from like from Philip D. Gregorio. Welcome aboard. Here's your new hire paperwork. Hmm, okay, is there anything interesting in the new hire paperwork, like non-compete clauses with interesting so, companies, or yeah, so when like you, when you look at drug the forms, formulation things? So when you look in the forms in there, um, it just, there's like the standard information, like, um, you know, how do you want to be contacted outside of business hours? Like all the all the kind of standard information you might fill out in some new hire paperwork. Um, but there's also a consent form for. Uh, yeah, you thought I wouldn't. All right. Like a, or it's 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 less of a consent form and it's more of a waiver that if you uh, utilize any of our products, data laundry and data will not be held responsible.
course, from this email, you can't tell it's if cheating. he it's just filled so any of this out. I'm going to have hairless but... leg. I might as well make it the tattoo leg. <clears throat> but in the advertising oh, program crap, email. Sorry. Oh, were you talking again? Yeah, I'm sorry. I was, <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, right. But this is just for some random guy, right? Yeah, this is just yeah. employee number whatever. But, um, yeah, in the advertising email, it's just, it's, it's directly from Dato. Like, it's not from, mm -hmm. it's not Three, from, uh, two, the manager, one. like, disseminated down. Dato just emailed everyone in the company, probably. Three, two, and you do look up one. and you see there's, like, 400 other emails in the, uh, that are, like, all Got a sound. Mm-hmm. And Same. it just says, yes, new advertising strategy. I got to shave the rest of my leg, though. Give free samples to anyone. <laughs> yes. Good, good capitalism. <laughs> and that's all it says. What about his signature? Is there anything like when he signs off? Like, is there an office number or a phone number or an address? Um, if you look at Dato's like email signature, it just says Dato. Then there's a bunch of gibberish, and then it says "Sorry, hamster on keyboard." <laughs> yeah, what do you think about that, Denise? All righty. Yeah. And then there is a phone number. Is it the same one from downstairs? It is not. Interesting. Okay. So, Daly's gonna like download. Both of those files, like the new employee agreement and the um, email, like take a screenshot okay. of the email and uh, like with the recipients and stuff mm -hmm. and the and the signature with the phone number. She can download that and then like kind of write down the new phone number so she has it on hand. Okay. Yeah, so you can do that. No problem. And then I guess I'm going to head over to reception and uh, convene with everybody, see what we can do. Okay. Uh, Dimitri, we will look at you. Yeah, well, I mean, Dimitri sent that guy off. Everybody's still kicking around, so he's just hanging out and he's just fixing himself a little bit with his tool Okay. Kit. You know, basically, he's, he's taking a little bit of a short rest. Yeah, he's, that's fine. He's, yeah feels like he's like way out of his element this isn't what he typically does yeah yeah you bust so, in like, and light people on fire yeah you know like he you know like he's here like he's tried like he's trying to do some stuff but yeah you know it's not really working out so he's just gonna you know take a little bit of a short rest fix up you know some of his stuff until his you know body's <laughs> natural repair kind of <laughs> kicks in and you know yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, he just like I said, yeah, he just feels so. a little out of his element. Like he's not really much of a help at this point. So he's letting yeah. the investigative types do their their work. You okay. know, should anything go wrong, he's here and he'll torch shit. But yeah, you know, that's fine. Yeah, you can go ahead and take take a short rest. But you do hear some. Uh, you did see Gersh go back in here, presumably back to uh, reception. You heard some shuffling in there, so seems like they might be gathering there. And uh, I guess Daly ran over to you. Oh, or not? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking, yeah. I was just making my way around to reception. And okay, that's fair. Heard the commotion, the shuffle. I guess. Okay, well, you guys uh, file into reception, and you see Gersh waiting there, and, and Bethany has, or Bethany has also just walked in, and uh, she is transparent, mildly. Uh, hi, y'all. Uh, I think I did the thing I shouldn't have done. What happened to you? Uh, 
Ah, uh, well, you see, I might have maybe just taken a swig. I mean, it tasted like Everclear. It was not fucking Everclear. A swig of what? Uh, a, a bottle of Everclear. From here? Ever clear. My goodness, no, no, am I no, speaking no, no, Chinese? No, like a, bottle of, a bottle of ever clear ever clear from here, you did? You know what? Henrik wouldn't shut the fuck up. You know, I just had to I had to give him to shut up. He was just in my head and yammering, yammering, turned down cocaine and, and whiskey and <laughs> you know, he's seen that bottle of ever clear through my eyes there and he's just like, you know, You've denied me everything. I'm not allowed to fucking kill these these strange translucent people. So I I wasn't thinking. It's just frustrating, you know. I mean, it's interesting. More, I, I can see how it's frustrating, but it's also very interesting. Hey, on you're, the other hand, you're see through. <laughs> on the other hand, I think I might have figured out how these people got invisible. Yes, Wait, exactly. So is, is Bettany like the same? She's tra is she transparent? Completely um, transparent. All, no, all of or... her all of her biological portions <laughs> are very slightly transparent. Okay. So, hmm. so we can see through her skin, or we can see through a little bit behind her. Uh, yeah, you can see through behind her, basically. Huh. <clears throat> you know, I think that might be better than blue. Uh, I, I mean, don't yeah, forgot I was blue. blue. I forgot it. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> <laughs> well, just mix me with a little bit of red, and I'll become the purple people eater. <laughs> <laughs> Double curses. <laughs> Well, I made us an appointment with uh, Philip. It's in about five minutes. Well, at least we have a lead. You do. Wait, above table, does freaking Gersh share the whole information about? You can't go upstairs unless you have an appointment, because that, that kind of solved the whole thing. And we might not <laughs> need these people. Can I burn them? We don't yeah, it does solve these this Yeah. We I do mean, not. I don't know. Did you did you did you press did you ask any questions when he when he said I made an appointment with Philip? <laughs> That's not that wouldn't be a question that follows that. Like why wouldn't you need to share the fucking information? Like, you can't go up there without an appointment. Like, that, like, why would I ask about that? Why would anyone ask about that? I mean, that might be like a, oh, you what? made an appointment? How did he say how we get up to the third floor? Yeah, like, what do you mean? Like, if you have no questions, you have no questions. If not, like, then ju and just fucking chill. If you do have questions, mm -hmm. ask your questions. Uh, I got a question. I Dimitri, well, not so much question as much statement. As you can see, and how I just explained, I drank some alcohol that was not alcohol, and now I'm clearly, partially transparent. Do we maybe think that that's what happened to these other people? Are you going to burn me too? There's the question, I guess. Maybe. <laughs> right? Are we talking Bitch, about what? racism now? Like, why are you gonna to burn me because I'm blue? <laughs> <laughs> what color does blue turn when it gets burned? If that's <laughs> if that's if that's what's necessary. I don't see nothing being necessary right now. All right, get this done. We go back to the. To the uh, um, 
the site and maybe we can get this all cleared up um and as a secondary thought bethany's just kind of go gonna go around the corner real quick and just stick her fingers down her throat see if this will help with the with the lead stomach but wait maybe we don't need i mean you're already all cleared up so to speak what if this gives you properties to operate within their world? What if it makes it easier to navigate this place? Maybe. Let's test this. She's going to go towards the stairs. She's going to try and go up. Okay. You go up the stairs, and you end up over here. <laughs> All right. I come <clears throat> back around. Okay. Guess what? I told you, Bethany, the appointment's not for five more minutes. Hey, I was just, you know, showing daily here that it, it's, it, yeah, the, that theory did not work. It was a, a noble well, try. Oh, no, not necessarily. I mean, if Gersh says you can't go upstairs without an appointment, that's a rule. But that doesn't mean that you can't have some other connection with the wherever these other people are coming from. Since you partook of something from their dimension, there could be other ways that you're linked. I mean, maybe, but I feel like these people are from our dimension, but they drank this and they went kapoof, invisible. Hmm. I mean,. They're obviously functioning somewhere, somehow. I'm functioning too. I'm just saying, like, it seems like these people are from here. So I think they just came in, was curious, probably same as we were, drank the liquor, same as and me. Now they just work here. And that's what happened. I only took a swig. That bottle that I found, it was empty until I put it upright. Which tells me that man was done drinking that shit. Strange. But you said, but the bottle refilled. It did. Once I set it down upright. So it was huh. empty. And then I picked it up. I put it down on the table upright. And it refilled. I took a sip. I put it down. And it immediately refilled. But I put it down. So, you know, the way a bottle's supposed to be put down. Out on the floor. Well, that means that there has to be something happening from some other place. Because what else would refill the bottle? It can't just be like a bottle that existed here, but now it's invisible, right? Well, damn, Daly, we in people. a place that they are just making drugs out of thin air. Your your delivery exactly. Is... Well, I don't so know. Come possible. here. Let me take a look at you. Gersh comes over and uh, starts checking bed. Names. Yeah, do I get the same readings with my scan from her as I did the other people as well? Um, no, you do get vital signs. Okay. Um, but you do get, like... It's weird, because usually the, the scanner kind of, like... It doesn't just scan once, it scans a few times and aggregates mm. the results. Okay. Um, but... You get mostly normal scans, like, within acceptable limits, but, like, one of the series of scans, you get a really goofy result. Okay. Like, the heart rate is, like, almost nothing. Like, blood sugar levels are all over the place. Um, just a few of the biological readings are skewed in wild directions that, if in a living person, would kill them. That's probably got something to do with her little tag along, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Okay. But it does. Um. Well, actually, now that you mentioned that, I I, I forgot she had a symbiote. <laughs> <laughs> um. So you do get um. You do get a small like like a sub tab basically in the, in the okay. readings, and they are readings for a different creature. Yeah. You can presume that this is the symbiote, but you don't get a heart rate. You get viscosity mm. 
Um, you get like viscosity, hunger, um, and you get uh, what's a what's what's a good way to describe it? Um, <laughs> you get nobility, black social rank, and okay. that's at zero. Damn. Damn, he's got nothing. He's got no <laughs> social ranking. All right, social ranking? Yep. The fuck That's is for, that? For him, a society, apparently. And and everybody fucking hates him or has no opinion <laughs> of him. <laughs> <laughs> he's got no ranking, no societal status. He's just, yeah. Oh, that blood sugar reading's all over the place, though. That was a little too close to home. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> Rough. All right, well, you know, I'll just keep an eye on it. Yeah, but they are, for the most part, stable. Okay. It seems like Bettany is not anywhere nearly as strongly affected by whatever is going on here. Yeah. So, I mean, that could at least correlate with the current running hypothesis. Yeah. Uh, but you can give me another uh, check for anomalous nonsense. Sure. How do I do that? Um, we'll we'll actually just say that this uses your just make a con check. Fuck yeah! Instead of anything else. Cool. Nineteen. There we 19. go. Nineteen. Yeah. All right. So this time it's able to like parse some of the information. Um. So you get. You get two different sources of anomalous nonsense, we'll say. So first you get a reading from Hendrick. And you get um, some some little information about, like, extra, di extra dimensional inertia. Um, not native to this, uh, this dimension, this reality. I'll um, relay that. Yeah. Probably something Bettany already knows. Probably. Mm -hmm. Um. But more specifically about the uh, her current predicament, um, you get pataphysical readings. Do I know what that is? That this is affecting her on a narrative level. Um, you can give me a, just a history check, we'll sure. say. I'm history as fuck. 13. 13. <laughs> so, there was one time back when you were with the Horizon, Horizon Initiative, mm. you've heard, you've heard the term pataphysical twice in your life. Once with the Horizon Initiative. Okay. Um, some of... Uh, like your handler was talking to another agent, another wolf about um like about some anomalies they had that were pataphysical in nature, and they couldn't find a way to make use of something that would affect um that would affect the underlying story of the world, mostly because they couldn't force it to work in their favor. And the other time you heard it was after you joined the foundation, a jar of but fortune before cookies? you found yourself in your current state. Um, it was in, for lack of a better term, a lecture, like some of the training that the foundation put you through. And pataphysical was described as instead of something that's like affects the natural world like, you know, just natural or something that affects, that's above that, like supernatural, like breaking the laws of physics or like metaphysical or anything like that. Pataphysical is a very specific and only, it's something that's only studied in the anomalous fields. It is the study of physics in relation to the world as a narrative. Okay. 
So it's some meta shit, basically. It's it's extra. It's double meta shit. All right. Well, I will relay this information, uh, you know, to the party as I'm, you know, yes, digging through it, basically. Everything I just said. Yeah, I'm just just you <laughs> yeah. know, yeah, regurgitating that essentially. Um, you know, as it's coming up. And yeah, then... uh, your armor prints out a little ticket and you can hand it to Betney. Yeah, there you go. There's your bill. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Gersh was hmm. checking her out. Okay, yeah, Gersh, what were you trying to discern with a 27? I don't know. What the fuck's wrong with her? Uh, yeah, she's <laughs> clear. That's humans aren't supposed to be clear. That's weird. That's not good, man. It's a bad time. That's not good. Um, okay, but like, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, clear. you don't. Other, than, also, other than the fact that she's blue, um, you don't find any real like abnormalities otherwise. Um, some of her vitals are occasionally inconsistent. Like, you know, you listen to, like, her heartbeat or breathing for, you know, a span of 20, 30 seconds, a minute. And it almost sounds like maybe her heart skips a beat every once in a while. But she doesn't seem to notice. Mm. Uh, I, and then as you, as you were listening, like, maybe a minute later or however much time, her heart double beats like it's catching up. Okay. So she's fading in and out. Reflexes and stuff. Are pupils dilating? Refle reflexes are fine. Pupils are fine. Other than the fact they're trans fucking parent. Uh yeah. <laughs> yes, but that's but that's really interesting. That they're yes. dilating. Even yeah, though they're, they're still their light, their light is passing light. through them. Like you can still see. Yeah. Uh oh. What is it y'all doing with these scans? You ain't using no x-ray goggles to, to peer at my girls, are you? Because that's not okay. <clears throat> I have seen my share of girls. <laughs> she looks you up I'm and down. Wife. Right, I'm sure you have. Uh, <laughs> well, you don't appear to be about to die from this. We have an appointment. Let's go upstairs. Quickly changing the subject, huh? <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, so all these guys are just... All these uniform dudes are just standing here. <laughs> they're, like, looking back and forth. They're looking at you guys. They're looking at the receptionist. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at them and be like, Why are you here? Why aren't you working? <laughs> What are you doing? What, did you guys go back? What to did work? you all forget her birthday? And Gersh points at the receptionist. Yeah, why didn't you bring her any pizza or presents or whatever it is you do in an office? Oh man, <laughs> they're back up in case I've been stairs, drinking Denise. Order, I guess. Well, everybody becomes okay. So all the three of these now. guys collectively try to summon a pizza. <laughs> Damn. Question. Sure. So I'm like partially, you know, transparent. Mm -hmm. Are they partially visible to me? Um. So, do you focus on them? Yes. When you focus on them, you can just barely see them. I'm going to take out one of those pill bottles. Yeah, you take out one of the pill bottles, and you can, if you focus really, really hard, you can see S initial, first initial S, Thomas, on the label. Take one as needed. And when needed. pills? And there are some pills in there. Guys, guys, I've done figuring it out. And I, I'm like, see, I was literally just about to say, maybe you will be able to figure it out with Phil, and you'll be able to take some of the pills. I, I, I start shaking the bottle. I'm like, I can see them. They're... Damn, these guys summon a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. 
I can, like, I in, can the see the in the middle of the room. What are this? Just the pizza now. It's not in a box. It's the pizza on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> We are going to need to bottle that Everclear before we leave, but let's wait to get it until after we see, uh, you know, our appointment upstairs. I, I, I feel like if I go in there and take that bottle, he gonna get mad. We'll deal with him later. No, maybe just, just, we should bring it just in case. What if? What if he says something that has to do with like unlocking the full potential of the pills, and you need Our to like? Our appointment is more. is now, Doctor Daly. All right. The time for that was earlier. Yeah, well, we'll get that on our way out, or maybe there'll be some upstairs, but we'll we'll, we'll look for some of that after. I'm ready to go when everybody else is. Yeah, Gersh, walking up the stairs. I mean. He was told ten minutes, like that's has been, been you know, and also it's it's fucking magical stairs. I don't know, I don't know why I don't want to be late. Like, yeah, that's probably not. The stairs stop working. Yeah, I'm I'm with that. As we're leaving, I'm gonna look at them and I'll be like, "You're all getting written up." <laughs> I'm gonna walk one, away. <laughs> one of their knees starts shaking. <laughs> I'm just gonna point at that guy as I walk out. Demetri, you're such an asshole sometimes. It's funny watching them quiver. <laughs> Alright, so you guys go upstairs? Yeah, what time are we taking this tonight? Uh, how late do you guys want to go? I figured this was a four-hour thing, no? Yeah, it's usually a four-hour thing. but Oh, right, we started at eight. Yes. I'm just <laughs> it's alright, it's a lot better than what I did last weekend I accidentally no, cut no. My, my players off at 3 hours Thinking that we hit 4 hours I showed the stream and everything Nobody said anything until like 45 minutes later Why did we end early Fair. by the way? Like, what, what a fuck <laughs> <laughs> Yeah Alright Forget I said Yeah Yeah, I'm ready to go Stairs we go All right, yeah, you guys go up the stairs. Oh, I had to look at that. You guys come out right about here. Sorry, keep picking again, please. Are we supposed to be that large? We're just confused. Yeah, it's fine. Fucking massive. Giant sized. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. We come out and we're suddenly a whole size larger. Let's go. Trying to find me a tiny man. All right, you see this very generic. <laughs> male business guy <laughs> over here um, I'll drag da Daly out for you alright you walk in and um, he's uh, he's at his desk he doesn't seem to have noticed you initially even though the door opening was fairly loud okay I'm just going to walk over and ouch. <laughs> okay. Does the, it looks like leather. Is it leather? Does it squeak against my uh, my cat suit? My skin suit? Uh, yes, it does. Um, but how, how familiar with leather couches are you? <laughs> I mean, I've, I've, you know, I've sat on my fair share of leather couches. Did it fart? Yes, it's, it's pleather, though. Gross. Yeah, disgusting. I say as I sit in my pleather chair. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even spring for the good leather. Bro, this chair was a grand, alright? Suck my dick. 
Hmm. <laughs> that was in character, but you know. <laughs> You're right, I'm sorry. My chair was a thousand dollars. Suck my dick. What chair? <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, he doesn't seem to have noticed any of you. He's he's typing and moving his mouth around frantically. He's doing something on his computer. I'm inspecting his modern art currently. Yeah, it's trash. Fucking garbage. Like like the one you walked up to, it's it's literally just like a little blue pyramid on a pedestal. is the problem with modern interior design no imagination <laughs> like look at this what is this supposed to be garbage what yeah it's it? it's literally a a... For ants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah in that glass case it's literally a garbage can trash look at it so bad <laughs> you have shitty taste <laughs> uh, what oh Shit! It's time. It's time. Okay. Ah, uh, good. Uh, what? What did you say your name was? Uh, Gersh. <clears throat> Gershwin, from the foundation. Uh, yes. I don't believe we had. Uh, wasn't aware of your uh, of any uh, dealings we had with you before, but uh, please. Is there an S. Thompson that that's working here? Uh, S. Thompson, none that work here. Consulting? Um, Client? No, no, no consulting, and he doesn't work here. But our clientele isn't really any of your business. Gersh pulls out a pill bottle. Why are you distributing these to your employees? Because they are free to use it if they want. Hmm. What's its intended effect? Why would they choose to use it? That's up to them. Um, <laughs> and quite frankly, I don't know what the intended effect is. I just sell it. All and I know you is distribute it to your employee. Like I said, they're free to take it. They're supposed to distribute it to other people. Free samples, that kind of idea. And are you aware that they're all invisible? Yes, it makes the office nice and quiet. They also seem to be kind of out of it. Oh, well, they still meet all their deliverables. Why? Who is the S. Thompson on the drug? On, on the prescription? I am not sure. I thought all the labels were blank. Not always. Why haven't you decided to sample the uh, fr the free, uh, freely available drug? Ah, uh, you know, I'm not quite sure. Just seems seems uncouth. You employ okay. several people that chose to do so, why would you hire them? No, well, they're the the rank and file. They they don't matter. Their computers aren't on. They're typing and nothing's happening. Oh, they're How definitely still be getting, getting any work done. All I know is reports are filed and the money comes in. I need to furnish raw materials like books. 
I suppose whatever the raw materials are, I don't really keep in with that. What is it you do around? I manage. And he twitches a little bit as he says that. <laughs> Has he got like a phone and a computer, you know, a computer on his desk and stuff? Yes. Grush like walks around the side of the desk. He's looking at the computer. Is there anything on it? No. I. Grush, what are you? Can I help you? What are you doing? Gentlemen, gentlemen, if you would just allow me. Sorry, I've lost some voice. Um, it's mm. fine. But gentlemen, if you would just allow me, I'm your sales rep after all. Let me have a conversation with the man. That sounds wonderful. That's what I thought you lot were here for. Some kind of sales pitch. Now look, so your your management, yeah. Yes, that is my title. It says so right on the front of my desk. Take a look. And yet you don't know what your own products do. I find that a little strange and a little worrying. So I don't need to know what they do. I know people buy them. Well, you see, the thing is, the, the product we are looking to sell, if we need somebody who's going to know and care about what the product does, so, if you don't know, and you don't care, I feel like maybe we should talk to somebody just a little bit higher than you. Well, you might want to talk to someone lower, then. They, the rank-and-file employees, they know what it does. All I do is manage them. How about you set up a meeting for us with, uh, well, what's his name? Dato, I think? It seems like he knows what's going on around here, and if we're going to oh, deal with somebody um, like that can can actually handle what we offer in. I'm meeting with Dato. I don't know how that would be possible. I've never met him myself. I see. I see. And is this the top floor? Um, Yes. Honey, are you asking or are you telling me? Is this uh, the top floor? This is the third floor. Doesn't go any higher than that. Do you see another set of stairs anywhere? Honey, I do not like your attitude. We are trying to do some business. <laughs> Ain't no reason for you to get snappy. I am also trying to do business every day. I'm just saying, Chris. I ain't never met a manager that don't know what the fuck he doing. I'm just saying. <laughs> we want to talk to your boss. Well, I could give you his phone number, but he... <laughs> that's as far as I ever really talk to him. On the phone every once in a while. Gersh pops a. Uh, Sorry, go ahead. Gersh pops a drug to find what story. Ooh, okay. Con save, Hume save. <laughs> Ooh, you're not poisoned. Your boss never wants to speak for more than a few seconds. Is that normal? He's very phone? busy. <laughs> Benny want, is going to kind of walk around the other side of the desk, and she's going to, like, plant her ass on his desk, all productive like. And she's going to say, look, I just want somebody who's going to truly understand what it is to offer. And I want to sneak a peek at his monitor, see if, because I'm transparent, if I can see on his monitor. By okay, so two things. First, when... After a moment of sitting on the desk, um, it seems to cave in slightly, like it's made of paper mache. <laughs> and second, when you look at the de at the monitor, you do in fact see something. 
I focus you see a enough. yeah you see like a um you know like an ex an excel report it's uh not maximized so you can see part of the back uh the background of the monitor um and it's the data laundry in tan uh, plastered across the the desktop but on the excel sheet you just see what seem to be like expenses and income this kind of report but the numbers are just huge like there's like 14 million coming in 75 million going out most of the numbers are huge and then there's a line where it's like three dollars four dollars seventeen dollars 97 million dollars well, I really can't but, make heads or tails of it, eh? I mean... Other than, like, um, you know, income and um, expenses kind of thing, probably? Probably. But it's it does seem kind of garbled, maybe, or... There's a lot... There's other information that you would need to kind of make sense of this. Because there's no dates or anything attached to it. Um, but, uh, Gersh, you are not poisoned, and you managed to, uh, hold on to the narrative. <laughs> you are mm -hmm. you are not swept downstream into the next chapter. Um, yeah. as you pop this pill, you see, one, Betney lights up a little bit. Very, very mildly. De Gregorio kind of lights up, but it's muffled. Like, you know, like if you shine a flashlight under a blanket, you mm. get that kind of effect. And then the desk lights up. Your pocket lights up where you have that bottle of pills. Each of these like art installations, the pedestal itself lights up. And then you also feel something above you pulling your attention as well. Hmm. If I look up, do I see anything there? You see a ceiling. You don't see anything through the ceiling. You just feel your attention being tugged that way. Do wow. with that information as you will. Interesting. Benny, why don't you try looking inside his desk? Well, my ass you already can't. my my ass already poked through it. Should be easy can't enough. Look inside my desk. You gonna stop Dimitri. this little man? Make him stop. I think you all need to back up. Please. What do you guys do? I'm going to pull open a door. As I said, we're with the foundation. I'm going to pull uh, open Gersh this guy. Out. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> pull, pull, <laughs> just, uh, just takes out his, his fucking gun and says, back away from the desk. All right. I am going to need everybody to make, uh, we'll say, either strength or dexterity saving throws. Oh my god, 16. finally a good roll. Nice. What well, the fuck? Wait, I'm at, I'm, yeah, I got my... It's because oh, you I had to, Hume on? To make the Hume as a modifier, I don't even know. What right. It's so, so just 10. uncheck it, that's all you gotta do. Yeah, 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 yeah I know. I but I don't, 
Wait, can I can I roll that without modifying it? I guess I don't even have to check it. Yeah, you just okay. gotta click on it. Yeah. Yeah. I've been clicking on it and checking. I've been checking it and click and then click. But I nah, guess that's just click. Okay. So ten. Okay. So Gersh, you are knocked away and you take Eleven bludgeoning damage as this like How wave, far away am I wave of force. You're knocked uh, fifteen feet away. Am I prone? Uh, you are not prone. Okay. Uh, Dimitri and Bettany, you manage to avoid or resist the effect. Like Bettany, you kind of like slink behind the desk slightly. And like the corner of the desk gets blasted off, but you manage to avoid it. Damn, that paper uh, mache strong. Yep, Dimitri, you just face tank it. Um, oh shit! You still the take five damage each, though. Grow. Hey, welcome in everybody. I'm uh, I'm actually playing this time instead of DMing. Uh, Was there anything specific you wanted to do before we roll initiative? I'm uh, I'm the savage mm -hmm. DM. I do a lot of D and D, and lately yeah, Tarkov sure. and Lights Space Marine. Shield. Uh, welcome okay. in. Thank you very much for the raid. I will uh, give you a shout You don't get a full action, but you can do like readying stuff. Okay. Uh, it's 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 going pretty well. We're doing some uh, yeah. SCP stuff, so modern day D and D. Uh, it's kind of Fuck interesting. It. I'm gonna try and while well, ready a grapple. This one here is me. I'm a Southern Bell. Okay. Ex debutante. Also, uh, an occultist. We'll just say that you can you can just do that grapple. A warlock okay. with a uh, venom-like symbiote. I'll give you one of these then. Well, bam. I am very savage. Uh, I well, also bam. I run a D and D yeah, game tomorrow. Good. You just <laughs> you just latch onto this uh, bitch. Seven yeah. thirty p.m. Eastern time. Just uh, like big old I shoulder had, this grab. This is my second game today. After I tank his <laughs> invisible force to the face. Yep, you just like reach out through Hopefully it. Hopefully, you guys and will enjoy the show. Um, yeah. I don't do much talking when I'm doing D and D. I do respond in chat. I mean, if you scroll up, you will see a shit ton of responses by me. Um, but I will try and keep that uh, keep it to chat. I did not. I... Put this over here. Sorry. No, no problem. problem. Thanks for the raid, fighting. man. Appreciate it's that, for sure. We have a treaty. Damn. They stay in the basement or the attic. They come down and they die. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys... How was your games? What what were you doing? Uh, actually, I guess my head would dragons. Hell yeah! Fan like uh like is it a homebrew or what is it? How do I? Yeah. What are you trying to do? No, I figured it out. All right, and uh, we'll just need one for daily. While we're figuring that out, I'm going to take a leak real quick. Go for it. Are your cat left you? I'll be right back. Oh, everybody leaves now that we start combat, eh? <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm poisoned, aren't I? Oh, this... Oh, roll that save it to end the shit. Uh, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I I poison my players all the time and then forget. <laughs> so, all right, well... that's just par for the course. So, we're going to note... Poisoning. 
That's a good one for this. There's so many of these. Little oh, it's favorites. not saves, just attack rolls and ability checks. Okay, then yeah, you're good. Damn, Denise. We'll say that one. Oop. Just because that one's funny. All right, Dr. Daly, seven. And she's got plus four to initiative, so. Eleven. All Andy right. Here. Hey, Andy. It's the motherfucker first. <laughs> <laughs> You're sad about it. You'll be fine. Because he rolled a fucking 20. Fuck that guy. Son yeah, of a bitch. Guy. Yep. yep. Alright, so for his turn, he's going to reach into his coat pocket, pull out a bottle of pills, open it, and down the whole thing. Oh no. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that at all. That is his bonus action because it's a potion. Oh, fuck him. <laughs> and then for his action, he's going to all the candy. punch the guy that's this giant piece of metal armor that he has that is attached to him. I think Ox is still hissing. All right, sorry. All right. So he's going to punch you. Me? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Fuck. Does wow. a fucking 13 hit you? No. Like, his wrist clanks against your armor. He's going to hit you again. Wow. <laughs> nah. Wow. I'm just going to look at him. He's going to try one more time. Wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's his turn. Oh, does so that mean it's me now? Yes, it's you. Okay. All right. I'm going to first attempt to back up. So if he gets an attack of opportunity. Why, 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 why is there a layer action suddenly there? Uh, because I didn't put it in yet. You, 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 you'll go ahead of it because unlike a layer action, you have dexterity. So we'll just uh... say you go first. Uh, it, if it helps, you can always just drag it down to blow my uh, my token on the okay. order. Yeah, it makes there sense. Go. Got it. I'm gonna try and back up. Okay. Yeah. Um. He's gonna try to kick you as you go. Yeah. Or can. Yeah. So a nine does an eighteen hit you? Yeah. All right. Cool. What's the damage? Oh, there it is. Okay, 12. Oh, I it is uh, 14 damage. It's force damage. And uh, roll a d20, uh, d100 for me. Aww. 38. Oh, God. <laughs> how do I want to flavor this one? Don't even tell me I'm dead, bro. Don't even say no. That. So I'm trying to think of what to use uh, that's SCP flavored instead of D and D flavored. Um, so all around you, um, on the floor. Actually, I need a D6 from you first. Two. So on either side of you here and here just appear in a puff of smoke 
these two little creatures that are I will just get a picture of them real quick and post them instead of uh, describing them. Right in here. Yeah. And I will post them in uh, mission logs. There are two little eye, little blobs with like little antenna on their heads, single little antenna, bright blue eyes, and they have like a rotating foot on the bottom of them. Hmm. Those aren't the little guys that help out around the foundation? Yes, they are. You recognize oh, okay. these, Kirsch. They just appear. They look up in Betany and are terrified. They're they're terrified of uh of you. A five eight one <laughs> girl? Yep. Bitches. <laughs> they just shake. Alright, cool. Um so I'm going to use my Raven News. Christmas okay. save, please. 17. Plus uh, stuff. So that's a, we'll just say that's a uh, 22. Oh, damn, really? Mm -hmm. Well, shit. Uh, that's kind of blew my plan out of the water. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to use this spell anyways. I'm going to do a Blight. Okay. Um, does he still take half that damage from the noose? I don't remember uh, what I did. Uh, one second. Cheat sheet. Uh, if he does, I didn't write it down anywhere, so I guess for now we'll say no. Okay, so we'll just say he avoids that damage, and then Blight, con save. Yes, please. Seven. Um, yeah, he fails. Cool. That was a really shitty roll. But 26. Okay. Does Blight do anything else, or is it just damage? Pretty sure it's just damage. Um. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It just yeah. has the, the riders for, like, oh, if they're a plant. Then, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just the damage. Um. I am then going to... A little further. Fuck. All right, I'm gonna stop here. Um, I'll end my turn. Okay. All right, layer action kicks off now. Uh, D. Gregorio, he like really quick taps a button on his cell phone, or on the on the the phone on the desk. The intercom com or the uh, speakerphone comes on, and he just and he calls for a meeting. That's it. Oh no! <laughs> uh, Eric, it's your turn. You see now, Daly had to guilt us. We could have killed everyone downstairs. It would have been fine. <laughs> I mean, you don't know if they're going to come up and try to attack you. You don't know. Yeah, I know. I'm. Just... Player really? knowledge, we fucking oh. know. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gersh uh, pulls out a couple of drones and they zip over and uh, give give uh, Bettany and Dimitri uh, a little shot. Okay. Um, why well, am I listening to this? This should be combat music. What is wrong with me? Booster shot. You've been blessed. Nice. Good. All right, who, who who all got that? You and Dimitri. Um. And then Gersh's gonna. 
go around next daily. He's going to... Ah, uh, that's it. I think that's... I think I'm going to leave it. Okay. No, wait. I can do this. Hold on. I think it's a bonus. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Like here. And I'm gonna put my shield in front of us. Okay. Where you yeah, you can just draw it. <laughs> Good luck over there, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it also I think, you know, I've got the door in front of it too, so true. All right. Is uh, that it for you? No, yeah. as a free action, he pulls out his the dedicated stool from his uh back <laughs> from the dedicated folding stool. So oh, okay. Stand and look over the uh, over the, <laughs> the shield wall. Yeah, I thought Perfect. the dedicated stool was a whole different thing too, man. <laughs> I was like, whoa, that's it. All right, Dimitri. Okay, Just checking real quick. Okay. Um, I got him grappled, so... Yes. Yeah, we're gonna fucking rage as a bonus action first. Okay. Uh, and... We're gonna fucking pile bunker his ass. Nice. Yeah. What does that fucking yeah. do? <laughs> uh, so I gotta make a special attack with Khan. Uh... My rage doesn't apply to this because it's con. It's not strength, right? Correct. Okay. Um, so no advantage. Can I go reckless with it? It's an attack. Ah, nice. Okay, I just wanted to clarify. Rad. All right. Well, bam. Oh, that should have been a con save, but... So that'd be yeah, plus it three. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, a 24, yeah, that hits. Yeah, uh, the aim is on top of the damage is to knock him prone, but I'm going to fucking bane his ass first. I'm just <laughs> going to fucking pick him up and just drop him down on my fucking knee. And as I do, I'm going to say, I take no pleasure in breaking you. What is it? Okay. Con... Different damage types, does fire damage, and then, okay, and you're knocking him prone? Mm. Okay. Yeah, you drop him down on your knee, the, like, the force of this, uh, this explosive gauntlet that, like, basically shoots him down on your knee as you drop mm. him. And he, like, he fully cracks and bends around your knee then flops down on the floor, but he immediately, st like, twists his spine back together. Or not even back together, but just back into an upright position and, like, starts to get up. Yeah, we're not done yet. That was one attack. Yes. I believe, so. Yep, that'd be uh, one of your attacks. Yeah, I'll just reach back. I'm gonna pull out the... Fucking bunker breacher because I'm up close. Yeah. So, and then we'll do one of these with both hands now because he's on the ground. So, cool. Changing the damage because it's two hand. Nice. Mm, that's not adding my strength mod. 
I mean, why not? Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's essentially a uh, a cantrip that guillotine or noose. Mm-hmm. Probably no, it's an item. Have. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Takes this much damage on a failure, and just doesn't say anything about yeah, su- yeah, a success. Yeah. So it just avoids the effect. Yeah. Because it's a, it's a restraining effect from range, so that's and it's a bonus action, so it's pretty potent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when you sent it to me, I was like, "That is fucking OP." I'll nope. take it. So that would be plus five on top of that. Thirteen, and then Don't forget yeah. your rage. Oh right, yeah. I forgot to click that. My bad. Uh, yeah, so plus two rage. And that'll be it for me. That's all I got. Okay. Okay, did you add all of your damage for the pile bunker? Yeah, that was the 2d12 plus four above for 20. I think it adds fire damage, too. Yeah, 2d6 fire as well. Oh, I missed that. Okay, well, here we go. So it just does redonkulous damage. So and nice. another three. So twenty-three total. Nice. Beauty. Twenty-three. And how much for the the bunker breacher? Plus right. five for your strength, and then what? Two for your 15 rage. Total. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. At the end of your turn, he's going to take an anomalous action. And because he's prone, uh, he's just going to, like, he's just going to point at you. Sure. Oh, 10. Um, does a 19 hit you? No. Yeah, you feel something ding against your armor, get deflected, and it, like, wing, like wings off, and it breaks this mirror. Or this uh, mirror. It breaks this window. That's it for him. Dr. Daly, it is your turn. What did you say? It is your turn. If you're talking, uh, you didn't push to talk. Daily? Lauren, it is your turn. That's enough. Uh, just disappeared from uh, Roll Twenty. You got this. Might be trying. Up. Yeah, she might be trying to get it back up. But we'll pretty much just like finish out her turn and then call it for there. Okay. Because that's that's right at the back at the top of initiative. That's fair. Oh, Saturday night. You guys don't want to go until we finish the encounter? <laughs> I got work to do tomorrow. Yeah, we're, we've are we got technical dis- difficulties, but we're getting it. Okay. Fuck your job. <laughs> <laughs>